I'm MinishCap1, and this is how to actually climb to Diamond in Season 12 with Singed. Singed is the champion that I've gotten challenged with for 5 years, and is a very strong climbing champion. You're going to learn concepts like closing games when ahead, recovering from behind, wave management, lane domination, proxy, rotations, team fighting, and itemization. I'm going to play one game in each rank tier from Silver to Diamond, so one in Silver, one in Gold, one in Platinum, and one in Diamond. In each game, I'm going to focus on specific fundamentals for each rating and tell you what to build, what runes to take, and how to win the game in every elo. This video will work very well for learning because I'm going to explain game theory behind my actions and show you how to execute them in-game in real time. I'd recommend two viewing methods for this video. You can sit back and relax while watching the entire thing, or you can watch the video specific to your rank. You can use the chapters below for an overview of concepts and how to execute them, all separated by rank tier. And before we get started, today's video is brought to you by Porofessor. Porofessor is a companion app for League that I actually use every single day when playing League of Legends. My favorite feature of Porofessor is the champ select window, which shows you tons of useful information. You can see what champions or teammates play and whether or not they're auto-filled, so you know if you need to spend a dodge. Save that sweet LP. You even get recommended runes from high elo and pro players that you can automatically import straight to your client. And of course, let's not forget the other great features such as the in-game jungle timers, Riot approved, in-game stat analysis to see what to improve on, pro builds, and post-game analysis that's miles ahead of anything that Riot's ever put out. And there's even a group finder tab to find people to play with. Professor has it all and it is completely free, so download it now using the link in the description below. All right, guys, we're going to get right into it with the first part of how to climb a diamond in two hours with Minish Cap 1 on Singed. Um, so you'll see here, the first thing I want you guys to do, the very first thing you guys should do is you go into your interface. This is not a joke. Go into your interface settings and turn off all chat and turn off allied chat. It is actually the best thing you can do. I would say to show timestamps, though, is a good setting because it, it can show you the timestamps when you ping someone's like summoner, right? Um, learning summoner timings is going to be happening for, for you guys a bit past silver, but still, it's a good habit to get into. Make sure to disable your chats. For items, we are starting Seapot in the melee matchup versus an Orn. He has Ignite Flash Grasp. We are going to go Conqueror Singed um, in Silver Elo because Conqueror Singed is much stronger in lower elo where people don't have like the mechanical capacity to be able to actually dodge your poison trail they'll stand and fight you they'll just eat your poison all day long and you get to charge up your conqueror and then basically 1v9 with it um your runes are going to be conqueror triumph legend tenacity last stand and that does not change your secondaries here are unflinching conditioning then i have two ap shards and the health scaling shard because we're against a tank champion so health scaling is really good here He's taking a lot of damage to try and freeze this wave, which is fine with me. He has a Doran shield, but we get to keep pushing. Um, versus champions like this, it's good to be a little bit ag aggressive early here on the wave. Just try and push, and then if he steps up like that and messes up, you go for a fling. You'd be a little bit aggro, no problem. Pop a C pot for the uh, for the trade. He's trying to hit me with a Q, which is fine. We can probably bait him if he walks up for um, fire breath. So versus Orn. When he uses Fire Breath, you don't fling immediately, and then you fling him right as he's about to auto-attack you. What that does is it prevents him from getting the Empowered Auto-Attack on you. Yeah, we're going Ghost Ignite, by the way. Reason for Ghost Ignite, we're not going to push this next wave because he's half health, we're going to try and kill him. Uh, the reason we get Ghost Ignite in this elo is because you just... Like that. Okay, no problem, can't kill him, but we got Ignite for Ignite. A lot of damage too, I have W now. I actually have my... Uh... Oh, I could kill him there, but no problem. I honestly, maybe still can. Oh, nope, that's okay. Eating the first blood is alright. Uh, we got his sums down, both of them. Buy boots and run back to lane here. But his summoners being down means, uh, maybe we kill? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, even if you die a little bit early on Conqueror Singed in Silver Elo, like, honestly, it's fine. Because then your jungler can sometimes, like, Mickey says, I actually got the assist too, which is really, really good. That is actually fantastic. Um, yeah, even if you die a bit on Conqueror Sins, like it, it honestly genuinely doesn't matter. I'm, I'm giving you guys a realistic, like, a realistic way you should be playing in Silver Elo because you, you need to be aggressive, right? In Silver, it's all about lane kingdom. You, you need to have a strong laning phase and translate that into a stronger mid to late game. And even if like your, your trading kills like that, Singe will outscale Orn in team fights, and eventually with Conqueror, you'll outscale him in one v one as well. Um, with other variations of Singe build, you don't necessarily outscale him on 1v1. Give him a little goofling there. 
I'm not going to show you guys too much um, advanced proxying, but I'll show you guys some basic proxying in Silver. You shouldn't over rely on proxy in Silver, because in Silver, again, you should be all about lane kingdom. But for the purpose of resetting the wave, we're going to go ahead and do a little basic proxy here and go for a recall. Um, that ward is there just to see if you're going to get ganked. It shows you vision um, around the corner a little bit. It shows you vision of this little area right here. A little vision of the entrances. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and recall here. I Normally, um, if I was playing in higher yellow, I'd go for this next wave, but you guys aren't going to be able to do that really that well. So I'm not going to not gonna overforce the proxy while you're still learning how to play Singed, right? So... Alright, as far as items go, um, seat pot start was fine for the lane, just a little bit of sustain to trade with. Uh, boots on boots is usually your first buy on singe, so you can like just be a little bit faster. Singe will have movement speed, right? If you cannot catch your opponent, you cannot deal damage. Um, and even though we're playing Conqueror, uh, movement speed's still important, right? Right here, if he goes for that plate, we go for the we go for the fight. He backs off. Last hitting under tower for range minions is usually one tower shot, poison tick, and then auto. Last hitting melees is two tower shots, poison tick, and auto. So we're going to wait for him to use a cooldown here. After he uses a cooldown, we're going to force a trade. We just need him to miss something. There we go. We can force here a little bit. Messed up my W a bit there, but or my E a bit there, but we can just walk, walk him down. Get some conqueror trade here. All right, decent. Like, it, it seems like not the best trade, but remember, we have we have C-Pots running, and he's already, like, pretty low HP. Okay, trying to get him to use a Q and miss. Hopefully he will. He's being pretty patient with us, so I'm assuming Graves is going to be here. You have to always think about how they're playing and why they're playing. I messed up again. We'll back it up a bit. Honestly, I could maybe even go for the kill. I have to remember he has um, Ignite as well. But we'll recall right here. If he if he overwalks up, we can go ahead and go for the fight. But he'll level up, so probably not gonna happen. Actually, he's completely. Ooh, maybe we can do something here. I, I might die to a grass auto, but I see my Kha'Zix is walking in bush here. We'll see what we can do. He's gonna go for the wave clear on this. I think when he uses double your Q, that's when we go. Oh. Okay. Leveled up as that happened. Grab the fling for the last hit. Triumph keeps us alive, and we have the ignite. Very good. Bear in mind, guys, your jungler will not always path for you like this. But this is sort of how you just have to play the singe early game. You're you're playing conqueror for lane dominance, yes, but you're not always gonna have lane. <laughs> you're not always gonna have lane dominance, and that's okay. That's completely fine. All right, died to graves there. That's okay. Um, so normally I would recommend you go blasting one here if your versus like a little bit of a squishier champion, but versus Orn we're gonna try and abuse we're gonna try and abuse health mechanics and go giant spell. Uh, the reason why is because Conquer already gives us a lot of AP, and so if we're we're alive longer we can actually use that AP. But if I just go straight blasting one, I'm not gonna live for a whole lot longer than I already am. I'll deal more damage here, but I'll also die very fast. This is sort of the thing when you're playing versus Orn. Orn early game is quite strong. And most tanks early game are quite strong. But the thing with tanks is that eventually they reach a point where they just can't deal with Singed. And that's why I love the tank matchup so much. Because you just you just are ticking time bomb versus tanks and it's so satisfying. We're going to try and force a bit of a freezer. I'll show you guys. This is soft freeze. They poison the wave. But we're just going to leave the minions right here and force them to walk up a bit. I don't have my uh, ultimate anymore. But... Fling them under tower a bit. They can take tower shot. It's two tower shots. Walk back under tower. Ignite. He might actually die there. Okay, he uses E, or his W. Let me run in for the fling. He cancelled it, but no big deal. Kite him out a bit here. Make him miss his fire breath, and then we go in for the auto. Very nice. Yeah, even without a, even without a ultimate there, we just had the summoner advantage, so... The extra ignite damage does help, and this is why we are going ignite in lower elos. And then as as you graduate, as you move up the ladder, I'll show you guys, you're going to be changing your summoner spells and stuff like that and changing your runes up a bit, but when you're playing in in silver, this is what you do. You, you play for lane kingdom, you play to get fed in lane, and even if you don't, you will scale for team fights with conqueror because in this rating, people just are not mechanically adept enough to try, like, to be able to beat you, right? So, uh, Orn is quite decent late game, but in terms of team fights, Singe is just superior, which is good. So first item here... Probably go demonic because it is an Orn. 
Bear in mind, we could totally go Rhinalize here and just like trap him in, in Poison. But the reason why we're going Demonic is because he is health stacking and Demonic is good against health stackers. If you're against other cha another champion like Adarius, where survival is, is a lot more difficult, then I'd go Rhinalize to try and kite him out a bit. But your first two items will generally be Rhinalize and Demonic in these ratings. Relatively close game, so not that bad. He is overextending a bit for this tower and might be able to get behind the bush here and flank him. Depends on how safe he plays for this. Oh yeah, okay. Kazakh sees it too, so this might be our, our shot to, to kill this guy. His R is down. I'm gonna go here. Oh, he's in. Nice, got his flash. Really good. Really good. You also uh, want to help your jungler do objectives and stuff like that, so we could probably even do this uh, Herald here. I'm gonna ping it for my jungler. And this is a good chance because Orn just, he he's like in low health and he doesn't have a lot of lane prior right now. Um, Ari just blew cooldowns. We win this fight if Graves contests us. Okay, I'm gonna dodge this a bit. Focus Graves here, kite it out. Oh, nope. Ari still had flash charm, that's okay. Could have gone worse, not the biggest deal in the world. Remember again, we will scale, so that is a okay. Ooh, dodge charm. Ah, oh, rip, you hate to see it. That's all good, no problem. I, I, I saw that Yasuo was dead, but I, I had assumed that they had used a lot more resources to kill him, but that's okay. No big deal. Alright, we have Demonic, we are strong now, they're gonna be focusing my top tower, but this is good. Like, like for the purpose of education and showing you guys like how to climb, this is really good. Because we can recover from the situation, like it's it's totally possible, and with Syndrome, you're scaling hard for the team fights. So we will be we will be gaming for sure. We will be gaming. If I can recover from this, then you can recover from this too. Trying to damage this Herald a bit. I think it dies to poison here. Nice, let's go. They greeted really hard for that, and I actually did a lot of damage to them. I don't have ults, I doubt I can kill them, but I do have Ignite. Maybe I can one for one this. I'm trying to steal some of this camp from him. Being a little cheeky with my play here. XD. Okay, yeah, if I had ult, I'd totally fight, but I do not, unfortunately, and that is okay. As you can see, I'm dumping my potion charges basically on every single trade that I'm taking or every single time I'm walking into a minion wave because Singe just generally takes a lot of damage whenever you're farming. If you're trying to farm quickly anyways, like I could totally wait for the wave to crash and then just wait for the minions to line up and then have them hit each other and then go for the farm, but... It just takes so much longer to do that as opposed to just running through the wave. I prefer to just dump the potion charge and run through the wave. I don't know where Orn is, otherwise I'd go for this plate. Actually, yeah, uh, I'm gonna recall a bit closer. He might be roaming here. Actually, I don't know where this guy is. Ah, it's already gone. So he actually had a really bad recall, and um, I, I guess it's a good time to explain that, yeah, in, in silver rating, like, people will just have really poor recalls against you. He's he's not, he was either waiting in the base for his, his item, or he was just like, unsure on what to buy and I could have abused that there by going for the plate but I just I assumed he was gonna play better than what he did the Kha'Zix does some damage okay got the Graves ult not for no problem if Orn walks up ever for the wave we just all in him here because with Demonic I actually out damage his Sunfire uh at Demonic Conqueror I should say and the one one I will out damage his Sunfire Orn is mid we're gonna push hard for that tower plate he got the execute very nice man this may hurt. Very, very nice. Okay. I'd say pretty standard Singe gameplay. You start the game off by feeding a bit. Then we're going to recover. Okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> On my way. An ally has been slain. Okay, Orn is mid, so I'm assuming that Ari comes top. You have to, you have to think that if, if he's pushing mid, then Ari's gonna try and meet us. But Yasuo just one v one to Ari, so it's possible he might be able to kill her behind the tower, assuming she used uh, flash. And if not, then we can at least zone her off the tower for a while. Okay, grab that. Is she over there? She's not. Yeah, here she comes. We can fight this. Okay, we'll just zone her off tower, no problem. She's missing all of that farm, and I'm wasting her time, too. <laughs> She's not getting any of this. Like, this is actually so good. 
She might wait to kill me or wait to fight me until after melt's down, but oh, we just back off. It's okay. Yeah, we made her miss like two full creep waves. So even though we didn't kill her, like, yeah, that's really good. That's super dope. She loses so much value for that. Then we'll back in by Merc Treads here. We're buying Merc Treads because they have um, double magic damage, top and mid, and they have decent CC too. Orin actually comes top, so even our she wasted, she just wasted time. She she didn't gain anything for that. She used like some cooldowns on me, but she got no minions. She's rotating back to mid. Uh, we're gonna build a little bit of HP here, and build towards Rylai second. She got no minions. She wasted a ton of time. Orin was in mid. He got some he got some plates, but he didn't get a tower. And we just denied Ari a ton right there. Which is super, 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 super good. And you can do stuff like that. Like you can totally deny pe people if you know what their cooldowns are, right? Um, here we're gonna do something a little bit cheeky. We're just gonna take the small, uh, the small Krug, and all we and all that does is like it doesn't deny the jungler too much gold, but it just gives us a little bit of free income while we're walking by. And you can do the same thing with the raptors. You can just grab the small raptors and then just take those. Don't take the big ones if you can avoid it, because your jungler needs income too. But if you can just take the small ones and then, you know, no harm, no foul. You, you both gain income from that, which is good. Orn is missing. We ping the missing here. He might go mid with his ultimate to try and gank, but we're going to keep pressure on this lane. Singed is very good at this, um, especially when you have Demonic is just pressuring lanes, because it becomes risky for people to chase you and fight you whenever you have um, ultimate and, and conqueror and Demonic, because you have high kill pressure. Especially with Ignite, you have high kill pressure. You can probably wind wall that. Oh, his wind wall is down. It's okay. We'll go for tower here. Again, dumping potion charges, so I minimize my damage from the tower. And we're going to rotate towards mid here, that top tower is down. Oh yeah, we're going to go here. We got a pretty good flank. It looks like the enemy team is walking down this way, though. My teammates are a little bit surrounded. Okay, no problem. That is okay. They're going to go dragon. That's fine. I'm going to push her mid tier one. Because if, if they're five manning dragon, I'm assuming they've used cooldowns. I know I know the Orn ult is down. All right, we're, we're, we're planning our next few steps based around what their cooldowns are. I know the Orn ult is down. I know that they're on dragon, so I'm going to maybe look to pressure this tower. And Kha'Zix is, is behind us, just in case we need to um, fall back and have some support. But I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here. Looking at Ari's mana bar as well, she doesn't have a whole ton of mana left. So I think we just go on this. Yeah, she's dead. Very nice. Wait, we can keep going on this, actually. I have fling here in three. We totally killed this guy. Reminder, the Conqueror, you do a lot of damage, guys. Bear in mind, Kha'Zix KS a little bit there, but that's okay. That is a-okay. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to get used to that. Uh, if you're playing Singe, your teammates will just KS sometimes. Uh, we can force Herald here, because their jungler in mid is dead. Super good time to force Herald. Kha'Zix is low, but he will, he will sustain as he uh, hits Herald and stuff like that. Which is good. We'll tank it a bit for him. I'm going to pull it out a bit, just so he can have a better angle on the eyeball. I'm going to walk over here. There we go. Always step out of the direction of the Herald Swing. We can give it to him, too. It'll help him have a faster recall, and he's going to be around the map more than I am right now, so... He just has better angles to put the eyeball down. We are scouted here, but I think we're fine. Yep, got the recall. There's the Rhylai's third item here. We're going to either go for Rocket Belt, or we're going to go for um, Rift Maker. So Riftmaker is really good when they have frontline like Orn. It's really good against them because it just ramps up damage and it gives you that little bit of sustain, which is not the main part of the item that's attractive, but versus a tankier frontline, Riftmaker is really good. Because it'll ramp up damage and give you eventually true damage, which is super nice. Um, stacks up with your demonic as well, which is super good. The demonic damage counts as single target for the purposes of Riftmaker, so that is really nice. You notice it more the more AP you have, but just a little bit of burn that you get. Being ampli uh, not amplified, but a little bit of tree damage is quite nice. Okay, top wave is pushing. We're gonna ping them. We're going for the wave. She's getting ulted on. Maybe walk back here. He is very dead. She has uh, three casts left. Actually, a bit careful here. Ground her. Uh, they got her anyways. Very nice. Good job by the uh, Thresh there. We're gonna look for Orn. Maybe we'll see. If he over pushes, we can go for the kill. Looks like Yasuo is doing some Yasuo things. Ooh, 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 how's he doing? Ooh, he's, ooh, he's not doing too much better now. That's okay. Okay, Kha'Zix is doing pretty well. He's got some kills under his belt. Under his wings, I guess. 
Okay, all we're doing right here, people, is asking Minish Cap, how do you play Singe in mid to late game? This is what we're doing. We are just going to, because our team is getting kills, we're going to run all the way down the lane. If my team was not getting kills, I would just push this to about here and then walk towards wherever my teammates are congregating. Because if teammates are congregating, they're going to end up getting into a fight. And you want to be there when they get into a fight. If not, that's fine. Just shove, shove, shove. Look for jungle camps here if they're up. They are not, so we're going to look to poke the tower a bit. If we get ganked, we do have ultimate. We try and outplay it, but we're just going to maintain some pressure for now. Pressure, 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 pressure. Very important. Okay, watching the map. Orn is mid, so that means Ari will, Ari will probably be the one to come up here. I know her ult is down. Maybe, hopefully, still. But we're going to back out. She's, she has two people with her, so we're just going to go ahead and, and walk away here real quick. Although, I do have ult up, and if they overstep, I can maybe look for something. Okay, that cannon's 1 HP. I want to kill it. Ooh, he, they know where I am. Oh my, okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to sit in the bush and see if someone walks up for us. Oh, he just uses charge. Maybe I can go for this? No. I'm trying to bait. I, I want the graves to come to me. I, I want them to think I'm overextended. I, I know I can kill them both if they if they come up to me. At least kill the graves. You see how he's standing? That means he's waiting for his jungler. Otherwise, he'd never stand like that. There's no point for him to stand like that. I'm pretty sure I can 1v2 this. Yeah, there's no reason for him to ever be up this far. Either Graves or Ari is coming, one of the two. Okay. We're gonna go for this guy here. I got Rally slow on him. He's pretty much doomed. He knows it too. He's flashing. There he goes. He's saving his uh, W for my fling, but... Okay, he's dead here. No way he gets out. Very nice. If you trade Ghost for Flash, that's super worth it, because their Flash is like a 5-minute cooldown and Ghost is a lot lower is up we can maybe go for that we can also go for tower here okay drags up in 30 i'm gonna recall after tower and then walk to drag unless my team is gonna die here which might be the case we'll see and honestly even losing third drag is okay as long as we fight for fourth which we can win with okay, i'm gonna recall and go for drag we might not be able to because my bot lane or my mid and bot are dead he's not dead but he has to recall we'll see Okay, going for the Rift Maker. The Orn. And if they were squishier, if they didn't have a super tanky top laner. Oh, cause it's the game. Oh, no. Oh, close, 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 close. Okay, we gotta walk down there right now. They might already be on it. In fact, they probably are, but we gotta be careful. If we can catch them, we'll force the fight, but I doubt it. Yeah, got a rip. That's okay. We will fight for fourth. That's the one thing about Ignite, is you, you need to make sure that you're rotating for dragons. We did, we weren't really able to rotate this game as much as we, we should have, but that's because we were getting focused pretty hard. Whoa! Just defending my Herald a bit while it gets the charge. Very good. I have ult and 10. I want to try and force a fight. Oh, here it comes. Ooh! I can't grab it! There we go. Alright, back out. No problem. I'm gonna go and reset. My ult is uh, my ult is up, but I don't have any HP left. I'm gonna make sure they don't Baron. We're gonna swap to a, a blue trinket here to make sure we get Baron vision for the team because my team is in silver. Your teammates are not gonna be like super comp competent to be able to walk up. And this is a great example of something that happens in silver is people start fighting when they know that their teammates aren't there. I'm I'm spam pinging back. They really need to back, and he is he is just not listening. They're just not going. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, this is this is this is really good actually. It's it's a little frustrating, but it's good for the video because people always do this in silver. No problem. We can actually hey, we should force Baron off that. They're poked out. We should Baron here. Nope. Yasuo is going in. He is inting real hard. Okay. We win this fight if uh if they go on me, but we need to be a bit careful here. They just use a lot of cooldowns, so. Trying to kite them over towards Kha'Zix. They're not really doing it. Graves dies, very good. Oh. Hey, kiting back, he will die here. Nice. The wave is dead, so they can't push, and we're sort of have them in between. Walking over to Soraka here. Fling away. Kha'Zix is they're getting really poked down by poison. I mean, Kha'Zix might be able to convert it, but we'll see. Yeah, I like you notice how much I ping them back and they still go for the fight? Like that's really bad. But that happens a lot in Silver, like you have to be ready for it. People just they just do that. 
<laughs> I pinged him back like 30 times and he just goes right in, so. It is what it is, it'd be that way. You're a bit weaker in fights when your ghost is down. When your ghost is up, you are a god. Just bear that in mind. Oh, they're doing it again. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This this it happens. We can we can proxy the next wave so they actually can't get um get the tower here. We're being super annoying for them by taking their creep waves. But bear in mind they know where I am now, that means Graves is gonna walk over to me. I can maybe steal this. Maybe. I'm there's a good chance I die for it, but we're just gonna try and risk it a bit. Yeah, okay. No problem, I've got a smite. Okay, they know I'm in here. This is the most obvious place to recall, but I'm hoping because they're silver I can get away with this. Nice, okay. We got Dragon two minutes by Riftmaker. Caitlyn's poking pretty hard. We're gonna go for a stopwatch here because we need to outplay the Caitlyn a bit. And I have Ghost next fight too, so I can go a little bit aggro. When you have Ghost, you wanna be a bit more aggro. Don't overdive because you'll get shredded, but make sure that you're just like waiting for cooldowns and then when you find the right opportunity to go in, that's when you go in. But we will go pretty crazy this next fight. As long as my teammates uh, respect the things. Oh, I got the classic 1 and 8 Yasuo. Okay, they are really far up here for no reason. And that's what we're trying to avoid. I'm going to grab this red buff so I have a little bit of uh, regen in between waves. You can do this sometimes as soon as you can like take red buff. Like I don't recommend you always do it, but you can take it from your jungler just to have... um that HP regen in between like skirmishes and stuff. We have Dragon a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear this top wave and then walk over to Drag. They're gonna fight whenever they see me up here, so I gotta ping them back because they are gonna get caught. They're getting caught. Let's walk back down. <laughs> they're, they're getting caught. We gotta salvage this. We're coming. Does he have flash? He does not have flash. Jin's getting engaged on here. We're gonna try and counter it for a bit. Okay, we're good. Let's walk back forward. This is a good fight for us right here. W him from his ultimate so he doesn't get it. Fling him in. Then I zone out the rest of their team. Running through here. I have stopwatch so I can be a bit aggro. We're going to go crazy here. Fling her in. Whole enemy team is dead here. Whole enemy team is dead. So good. Fling him back in. Kill them all. Run him down. Conqueror Singe with, with three items. You're super strong. Okay, that's really bad. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna find him. We had Dragon 16 too. I can maybe double you him here. Nope. Okay. We need to do this dragon here. We need to go for this. I need Yasuo more than anything else. But we can we can still take this. Please come, Yasuo! Please come here! Okay, Graves actually executed. We might be able to do Baron on spawn then. Team might not be good enough to do it, but we have a little window of time that we we can maybe do it. Okay, really good. We'll look for Zhonya's here. Zhonya's to help defend ourselves from Graves and Caitlyn. And if we get crowd controlled, Zhonya's is super good too. Bear in mind, we also have double tenacity rune, so not having, um, if, like if you needed to go uh, Tabby here, I, like, if I needed to switch a Tabby, I totally could, but I'm gonna keep the Merc Treads for now. Yeah, 1.2K damage on Riftmaker that fight. Pretty crazy stuff. I mean, got the dragon too, which is awesome. To seek. These guys are going to overextend again for sure. They've been doing it. So if you see your AD carry and, and your support just walking straight into mid, this is the most common place where, where lower elo AD carries and supports will die. I still see them doing this in higher elos where they'll just walk into mid and get caught from the side and they'll just die. Okay, we're going to try and look for... See, even Orn's doing it. Like, they're doing it too. We can look for a fight here and probably punish this. Oh, there's a ward here. Let's kill it. There's a ward in there too. Like, they're going to get aggro and try and kill Jin. They think that's their win con, but their win actual win con is to kill me because I'm doing way more damage than Jin. Okay, he's playing up really far. Through my work. We're going to find this crab over here. It's about to spawn. By the way, if you use Porifacer, you can have those camp timers. Very useful. There's a ward in there, but that means that they're not they're not far behind, so we're not going to face check that. Even though there's a ward there. you got to be careful with those blues. You can, you can easily die for those. Okay. Walk up a bit before they uh, before they ward everything. I'm trying to see if I can make a pick. That's the only thing. Okay. Now I have my blue ward up. I know there's no one in there. We're going to clear the ward. They have vision of this area, and we know that they do. We need to sweep it is what we need to just, to just clear their vision out. Then we can force them to walk up and make a bad decision. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's walk up a bit here. Okay, there's charm. We can walk up a little bit here. Okay, Strock is a little caught. Let's walk up. She's in, she's ignited, she goes down, she's dead. 
Let me just run through the fight. Stack up Conqueror, make sure you're autoing. Again, double tenacity runes. Caitlyn, you can't kill me. We go Baron here. We go Baron here. Jin is really overextended. He needs to back out. Okay, we have to watch out for Graves. I don't know where Graves is, so whenever this happens, you have to bear in mind he could be up here. He could be up behind, so I'm going to go look for Graves here. Is he in mid? He's in mid. We're good. Let's get this. With Sand, you can also zone people off of a Baron as well if you need to. But we're good. Okay, we're going to clear the top wave and then finish off Drag, and we're going to just group up with the team. I don't want to side lane too hard here. I want to be with my team because I have Ghost up. I can do a really hard engage and dive for the uh, for the next fight. The Rift Maker value is huge here, 1600. Demonic is 3.8k, 3.9k. Grab this, and then last item, we can go Anathemas, we can go Frozen Heart. Um, I like Anathemas because Singe already gets 90 armor and MR at his level 3 ultimate. We can go Anathemas, we can go Frozen Heart, we can go, we can go a lot of stuff. Whatever it is we need. I like Anathemas, and this is, Anathemas is the item I would normally build here, so I'm going to show you guys the Anathema setup, but if you need Magic Pen, you can go Void Staff, like, because Orin has a lot of, uh, MR now. If you need damage, you can go Void, uh, Void Staff or Death Cap, or you can go Shadow Flame as well is quite decent on Singe. We have Dragon a minute. Orin is pushing top, but I'm not super worried about an Orin split push. If I need to deal with it, I'll go deal with it, but... They're pretty scared of me, so we're fine. And then we just we just poke up the tower until we have dragon spawn, and then we're gonna look for dragon afterwards. And we're gonna step up really far so Orn is pressured to walk down. I don't know why he's ulting here. But that's okay. They're just getting poked. So her Gale Force is actually down, and it's a it's a 110 second cooldown. We will bear that in mind as we walk forward here. That her Gale Force is down. And I can probably force the dive here, honestly. I kinda want to. The Cossack is not here, I gotta be careful. Gotta be a little bit careful here. But we're just being aggro with the Baron. Not too aggro so you don't get caught, but playing around vision and whatnot. KW his ult again. In there with the Rylize, and they are just doomed. We're gonna blasting plan over the wall. Run down the Ari. She flashed away. But it's too late! You're just dead. You're all just dead. Oh, what's that? You have GA? You're dead anyways. Zanyas. And he's down. Let's go. Triumph getting huge value. We're going to get Inhibitor here. We can turn back around for Dragon if we can't end the game, but we should be able to get Nexus Towers. Yeah, we can get Nexus Towers at least. Nope, oh, they FF'd. Very nice. Alright, guys. So, Lane Kingdom. If you lose lane, it's okay because you can recover. Um... You can recover, you can stabilize the game. We had huge CS, we had 8 CS per minute that game. We had 60% KP, almost 500 gold per minute. You can you can do it, you can make it work. And and remember, you're, you're playing around cooldowns, you're playing around summoner spells, you're, you're, you're playing around vision. Um, I didn't do too much proxy of that game, just so you guys had a good frame of reference for how to like realistically play as you're learning how to proxy, but that that's okay because whenever you're, you know, you're, you're learning, you're not trying to, you're not trying to overextend or over trade or, do anything super crazy like you see me doing in like those challenger grandmaster games right you're trying to play a bit more reserved and a bit more like methodical because the whole idea is like you know you're learning you're climbing so recovery and stabilization is very important building the proper items in the proper order is very important um just got the gold four so we can actually just go ahead and do the gold game this account too but it's it's very 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 important that you that you recover that you stabilize if you get behind if you don't and if you don't get behind if you're winning Make sure you're not over pushing the side lane. Over pushing the side lane will be disastrous for you. And I can show you that in the next video as well. But thank you guys. We appreciate it. And we'll move on to the next one. Here's my damage dealt. There you go. 30,000. All right, guys. Minish Cap 1 here again with the gold version of How to Climb the Diamond. We're going to have, again, this video is going to be a four-parter. Uh, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. And I'm going to show you guys how to climb into every single rating. This is going to be the gold we're going to be going the exact same runes as the silver game, uh, the exact same starting items, the exact same summoner spells, because again, in lower elos, it is very, very good for you to have aggressive, aggressive runes and summoners because you're playing lane kingdom. I will show you guys a slightly more advanced proxy technique this game because we are uh, proxying into red side, which does show... Kind of back a bit here for the cues. It, it, it does have a bit more options for proxying into. Nice! 
uh, yeah, I'd say there's, there's two additional paths you can proxy and then you can escape with, so. Right here on wave two, we can already start, honestly. Watch for the Aatrox Q here. He's going to look for it. And then just what you're doing, basically, at this rating, because you're you, because you're graduating and you're advancing with Singe, you're just going to be a little bit more aggro. He's, he's eating a lot of damage for those Q charges. We can actually all in right here. Ignite him right before that comes down. Okay, there's his flash. All right, we have his flash. That's actually really good. Again, flash for my... Getting his five-minute flash for my two lower cooldown summoners is really good. And because he's poked down, we're going to go for this third wave back here. Um, and because he, he doesn't have flash, he has lower kill pressure on us, and we're gonna we're gonna just go th go for this wave and execute it. If he chases us, it's fine. We just look for the look for the wave or look for the tower. Hey, if we die, that's fine too. No problem. No problem. You're you're gonna mess up a bit, right? You're you're gonna mess up. The important part is that that wave hit the tower. It's gonna push back towards us. You're gonna mess up a bit. You're gonna have a few issues as you're learning. We're gonna wait for boots here. I generally don't recommend waiting for items, but we're gonna wait for boots because I know that that wave is pushing towards us and is not gonna freeze. It's pushing towards us because we made the other wave at the tower. Yeah, we know that Aatrox has no flash. He does have TP, so if he recalls, he's actually not recalling. Depending on how fast he pushes, we might be able to kill him here. We'll see. If I can level up and hit W and he stays. I'm actually even on farm with him too, which is kind of hilarious considering um that he killed me, but we should be okay. Yeah, I think he's back. It's all good. No problemo. Oh, actually, hey. Ooh, ooh, Olaf. Oh, he's abusing the no flash. Oh, he's so good. Nice, let's go. Actually, really decent. Thank you, bud. Give him a thumbs up. And again, bear in mind, your junglers won't always do this. Like, it's very possible he just, like, starts clearing towards the bottom of this game. And leaves him alone the one with Aatrox, but... Yeah, well, it's fine. It's all a part of recovery. He, he, The Aatrox would have recalled there either way, and he would have TP'd here either way, so it's, like, not the biggest deal in the world. Then, because we are in the position to do it, we're going to ward that bush and just look for the proxy behind tower a bit here. This is this is not quite extreme proxying. I don't want to go into their base for you guys just yet. Not in this rating. It's not worth it. But we are going to look for a little bit of uh, action behind tower here. Okay, he has a ward in that bush. No problem. We know that there's a ward, though. We can ping it to Olaf. We just keep going. Olaf is currently taking their jungle because he he has a lot of vision from us proxying here. It's We're gonna just clear it. Always watch your mana bar. Corrupting potion helps a lot here for for mana. You're gonna consume a ton of mana going for these waves. Always watch the next creep wave too. If it's a cannon, it's if, if it's a cannon wave and you're low mana, you cannot kill it. But if it's a normal wave and you're low mana, you can just like tap your poison like this. Just tap it on, tap it off, just like that, and then run them through the cloud. Group them up together, and then tap your poison again. Put, them, put the minions in a little ball like this. Okay, here's Nunu. And then we execute it, because he is too far away, and he doesn't have flash. He has ghost, so we're chilling. Okay, in this matchup, by the way, we're actually going to go um, Swiftness Boots Rush. And you don't do this every game. Some some Singe players do this every game. Singe, swift, yeah, swiftness Boots are situational on Singe. Um, the reason why we're going Swiftness Boots is because Aatrox, if he can't if he can't get in range or if you're too fast, he can't hit his skill shots. Um, his W has a big slow. Same thing with Nunu. If he can't get in range, he can't kill you. And his W or his um, his whole kit is a big slow. And then Swain, you can it helps you dodge his um, abilities. If you need to switch to boots, a different pair of boots later in the game, you can because the whole point of Swifties is that you just don't lose your your momentum early, while also being like you know pretty fast. You can, you can, you, you, as long as you're not super far behind, you can switch to different boots. Like this game, I might switch to Merc Treads later on. Bear in mind, he's level six. We're not gonna go too aggro here, but once I'm level six, I do have Ignite. We're gonna try and fight him again because we're still playing for Lane Kingdom, even though we're proxying a lot. We're still playing to go aggro in lane. Okay. We're gonna save Ignite for his third Q. He's waiting for me to, for him to have uh, range to use his um use his Q. So there's there's Ignite, and then yeah, we save Ignite for his uh, for his third Q, and because the third Q is the biggest heal, or you can save Ignite for his uh, whenever his passive comes up. Then you just run them down with the Ignite. When I have Swiftness Boots, you saw he's trying to like create space to uh to get space for her at the end of his cues but he can't because i'm too fast with ghosts and swifties he, he actually just can't make the space for his cues it's good that i'm playing against aatrox because aatrox is one of the more common picks you will see um when you're playing singed speaking of picks i should probably talk about um about bands and champ select so in champ select you really want to be uh focusing your bands on things like when you're when you're like i would say platinum and below you should aim for bands on nasus or teemo 
because Nasus and Teemo are very, very common. You can wait there, by the way, right there to, um, as the plate goes down and look for the proxy immediately. We know Aatrox is chasing us here, so we're not going to be too aggro here. But I don't want to give the cannon up for free. He walks up, go for the, uh, go for the fling. He's not fast enough to catch us here. He's just not fast enough to abuse us at all. Like, he's, he's going to walk after us, but we have the Swiftness Boots advantage. He has brown boots, and we just <laughs> keep abusing the poor Aatrox here. Go for the cannon. You can do some pretty funky shit with your with your Swiftness Boots. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear there, but you can do some pretty funky stuff with your Swiftness Boots. Uh, when people only have Tier 1 boots, so. Yeah, make sure that you're abusing movement speed early on if you do go Swiftness Boots. And again, these are situational for Singe. In terms of items, I'm going to show you guys a bit of a different itemization this game. Um, Demonic is still very good here because they have because they have double front line, so we are going to go Demonic. But first, we might change it up a bit and then go for a um, Rocket Belt. That was a mistake. I spent too much time in the base, but it's okay because I got a, I got a proxy wave, so whatever. But you don't want to do that. You want to be buying your items very quickly. You always want to be thinking about what items you want to buy before you actually recall. Items, that's really good for this, by the way. They're getting ganked. Ping the, uh, ping the gank here. He has Spell Shield. It was a bit early. I think he has it. Yes, he dodged the uh, root. Very good. They probably just live here. Yeah, they do. Nice. Um, Rocket Belt is uh, the uh, the mythic we're going here. Rift Maker would be good too, but I want to show you guys some different itemization. Because we're going to be using Rocket Belt to kill their backline here. Because, like, yeah, Rift Maker is awesome here too, and it's probably the better buy. I might still get Rift Maker, actually. We'll see. But you you can go um, Rocket Belt when you need to kill a squishy or backline, or if there are laners that are just very squishy. An enemy has been slain. Okay, again, Aatrox has tier 1 boots, so he's just really not fast enough to compete with us right now. Then once we have Ignite, we're just going to go for the fight again. We're waiting for Ignite to kill him because he does heal a lot. He's going to contest us over the cannon here. Okay, him out a bit. We missed cannon, but we made him take a good amount of damage for it. Just poking him down. Right now, my Ignite's up in 10. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down this way, but I'm gonna curve around and go back into the bush and make him think that he's safe to walk up. He's not safe to walk up. We're gonna kill him here. Too late. Fling him out. Okay, ignite his Qs. And dive it. And we got the triumph and we live. Very nice. Woo, gotta be careful. Alright, Olaf's gonna herald for us. That's really good. And the Herald will get these plates for us. We're going to auto that one, so it saves a bit of HP. Tower first, Blood for us. It's a lot of gold. We have a huge lead here, so it's basically the opposite of last game. We're playing with a massive lead right now. Get a charge on Tier 2. Okay, we're going to proxy the next wave as well. Bear in mind, before you have Demonic, it does take you a good bit to kill cannons, so don't overcommit for a cannon. Like, it's, it's better to live and lose your cannon. It's not like Scion where you can just end for waves, like you can. And sometimes I do play that way when I'm playing in super high elo. I will I will end for creep waves, but that's totally different. Like the context in which you end for creep waves is basically if your team is hard stomping bot side. But if your team is not hard stomping, like my team is losing bot side, I'm not gonna hard end for waves as a ward that just died there, so we're not gonna recall there. He could eat he could have eat over that wall and queued me and I would have died. Get rid of back here. All right, we'll buy we'll buy uh, demonic embrace here because they have double front line, and then I will show you guys the power of rocket belt if it calls for it, and if it, the situation does not call for it. Yeah, Nunu's going very tanky. Um, he has double double uh, null magics. Interesting. It's like this is going merc treads and then sunfire, but if the situation calls for it, you can do it, and then you just dive their backline with a rocket belt. And if you're playing rift maker, you play a bit more slowly, but over the course of a longer fight, you will have much more damage. It's his rocket belt. Is it's what it says on the item. Rocket belt. The item description says for burst. This guy is gonna die here for playing like this. I don't think he realizes that. But I have demonic embrace and swifties. He has brown boots and components. He loses this. He popped the R. I should have. I should have uh, waited to fling him out of his third Q. I should have waited to ult. Um, I should have ulted before he used passive. Sorry, would have denied some healing. But I'm just so far ahead of him. It doesn't even matter. Oh, miss mechanics, okay. You guys are gonna miss cannons too, no problem. Be careful about taking this tier two tower because if you take tier two tower, it takes a lot longer for the waves to bounce back. We're gonna do it here because I wanna show you guys how to how to end the game with the lead. Or even just how to play with the big lead. And I'm only 150 gold shutdown, even though I'm like astronomically far ahead of this guy right now. 
which is really good. I guess I'm only an item ahead, but like half an item ahead, but still, it's like for Singe, it's a lot. <laughs> for Singe, that's a lot. Okay, we saw it. Oh, no, I thought I saw Nunu walking towards bot. I did not. We're going to back off a bit here. I think I got the little ones. I got the little ones. I got every single little raptor. I got the big one, but whatever. Okay, bot lane's having a few problems. It's okay, no problem. It's a good example for us how to carry. We are going to actually rock a belt this game. Yeah, we're going to do it because we're going to be killing um, that Sivir. We're going to go for her. It's a great example of a game for belt. Okay, they're going to get dragon here. I don't have ult, but we're going to fight for a third drag as I build towards belt. When you're building belt, try and aim for... Um, I like to go, uh, if I can afford both, Blasting One and, and Hextech Alternator, but I can't afford both here, so I'm actually going to go Blasting One and Ruby. And actually Amp Tome here. Trying to spend as much gold as possible. It would be beneficial to have the extra, a little bit of burst damage from Hextech Alternator, but at this stage in the game, if you're buying if you're buying it second, it's just not as good to have that little bit of burst. If you're buying it first, Alternator is really good to have that burst, but... Second item, not as much. So actually, he is he is not doing that dragon fast. I'm gonna walk over there. Honestly, Olaf can just fight him. Oh, he's oh he wants it. Oh, that smite consumes gonna be dangerous though. He's a little bit zoned out. Nice. Olaf is just a gamer here. Cat is just fully disrespecting, so she gets to die for this. Save my ignite. And yeah, she goes down very nice. I could have even saved my ultimate there, but she's just... They're not respecting the Conqueror Singe with this much of a lead. And this is exactly why you're taking Conqueror and lower elos, because people people do not respect your champion lower elo, and they will just they will just die to you. They'll just walk up and die to you. The main struggles you will have in lower elo is just when your teammates are hard feeding too, because at the same time, even though they don't respect you, your teammates won't respect them either, right? Don't think you kill me here, Nunu. Okay, nice. Let's walk over to this Aatrox. I'm in range for W because of Swifties. Very nice. Slow him down. Olaf is going to chain slow. Okay, I'm going to save Ignite here. He's just such low HP. It's like not even worth igniting him. Nice. Let's go. We are totally going to steal that kill as well. And that is okay. Alright, how much for belt? I need 200 for belt. We're going to farm up belt gold. I'm not paying it. I need 150, actually. Useful, by the way, to ping items that you're going to buy. That way your teammates know what you're going to have. And then you also know exactly how much gold you need to have, so you don't overextend for farm. So I need about 114 gold. That's literally one creep wave. Actually, less, because I have a cannon here. But about 105 gold is the value of one full creep wave, minus the cannon. With the cannon, it's a little, uh, I think it's 75% more, I believe, is the value of the cannon. But yeah, we have belt now. Now we'll show you guys how to just run down the ranged back line. Alright, Akali's doing pretty good. We're going to walk towards bot here because they're getting dove. They don't have a wave, so they're probably not going to be able to um, dive my back line, but I think we're chilling. We're gonna grab this camp here. Olaf is padding towards their camp, so we're just gonna grab, it, grab this on the way over. Okay, probably not diveable, we just don't have a creep wave, but it's okay. We can look for camps and then just slowly play around it. I don't know where Aatrox is. Aatrox is farming up top, so we know where he is. He's not counter ganking us here. Okay, they scattered us out, so we probably can't go for this. This area's gonna scale for a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'm gonna look for this, actually. Nah, no way. We can go for Herald here. I just I just don't think my bot lane is strong enough to look for it, and I'm pretty sure we're walking on wards too. Because like whenever we walk up, they just back out. Oh, I see cat. I see cat. Yeah, well, spot tower, that's okay. They get a bounty. I'm gonna walk back down there. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard because Aatrox is pushing top wave and it's crashing. Let's go help Olaf here. Okay. Can run this guy down here. I'm gonna save Ghost. I think I just don't even need it. Yep, he's ghosting, so we ghost predator. Or oh, sorry, ghost rocket belt fling. And he's dead. Very nice. Trading ghost for ghost there, but I'm faster with the belt. You can get in front of him with the belt too to just interrupt his um his dash or his snowball, sorry. Poison was off there, turn it back on. He's so scared of me, he's not even gonna fight me even when I was like lower HP, so we just go ahead and steal this. With Rocket Belt, you do with Rocket Belt Demonic, sorry, you kill camps very fast because you have magic fun. Oh, that Swain is like getting really fed. Okay, no problem. They did kill Saver though, which is good. 
That is decent. Swain will go um, Leandry's Rylize, I think, is what their build is. Your team has destroyed We're about 9 CS per minute here, by the way, guys. We have massive CS. If you don't hit CS numbers like this, don't worry too much. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but eventually, like, when you're ahead in a game, I, I want to see you guys, like, getting super high CS numbers like this when you are ahead, like, because you have to be able to abuse your lead if you get one. That is part of climbing, is shutting down the enemy completely. During, I watch my mana bar here, I don't have mana, so I'm actually saving my fling for a disengage if I need to, or the cannon. Then we're going to go ahead and drop a deep ward on the enemy side of the map and just walk out and recall. Okay, third item options here. If we want to just absolutely crush the game, um, we can go Shadow Flame and just melt. The problem with going Shadow Flame here is I'll be in a lot of danger if I jump in too deep, so we're actually going to go uh, Zonya here. And the whole purpose of that is to keep myself safe whenever I go, go further in the fight. I could go Rylize here too. But we'll go Zanyas here and show you guys a bit of a different build. Yeah, you have two options here, right? You can totally go Zanyas and Rylize, or go Rylize and then Zanyas. As long as you buy both of those two items here in this order, the, the again, Rylize is just a very, very, very good Singe item. Man, that is scary. Oh, he actually killed her. Wow. Oh, that is... Oh, that's looking... Okay, no problem, no problem. Can maybe kill these guys here. Oh my god, a collie. Jeez, I'm just gonna save my cooldowns here. I got an assist with W, but dude, I did not expect the collie to just murder her like that. It's just a lot of AP, but yeah. Cloud Dragon is a little bit harder to kill because there's the highest attack speed, but we're gonna go ahead and do it, even though our team's not helping because play play objective focused games always. If you can. Towers are not the only objective, guys. Dragons count too. Remember, I know top laners like to go for like to go for dragons a lot, but try not to. Or sorry, not, they'll go for towers a lot. Try not to. Make sure you're going for dragons too, especially on Singe. You're just not the greatest tower taker in the world, so very important to grab those. Okay. Make sure that you also. This is a good example because I have two active items here. Make sure that you're choosing dedicated keys for your active items, and then always keeping your active items on those keys every single game. Um, that way you're not confused about your what, your what your key bindings are for your items. So I always do my one key for Corrupting Potion. I always do my, my three key for Rocket Belt. I always do my six key for Predator if I have Predator. And my four key for Zonya's Stopwatch. I use my five key for Anathemas as well. I don't use my two key for anything. Uh, maybe a ward late game if it gets to that point. Oh, uh, because you're in gold, I should also mention that you're a lot more dedicated to the game at this point. Because you're just, you're climbing up. Uh... Hardware, right? Hardware is not It's not the most important thing in the world. You can totally play on like a super basic keyboard and mouse and just like climb out of your mind. That's totally possible. But I won't deny that having a, a better keyboard and a better mouse does help you, like you know, mechanically, right? Um, so for example, my mouse it has buttons on the side. I have a Razer Naga X. You can you know, you can use whatever mouse mouse you want as long as it has like certain different key bindings for you to be able to like bind different stuff to it. But I use. Let me just show you guys real quick. I use numbers one to six for League of Legends right there. And I use those for my one to six items. I switch my. Oh, we're gonna fight this guy a little bit here. Nope. We're gonna clear the ward. Oh crap. Okay. Go a little bit crazy here. No problem. Ignite the Swain. Ooh, a little bit dicey. That's okay. We're gonna kite out the uh, rocket belt in. Fling. Oh, he still dies. Okay, even flinging. Ooh, we're gonna run. We're gonna run here. Sorry, guys. I'm in the middle of explaining my mouse, and they just jumped on. We had to kill him there. Yeah, with Rocket Belt, you can just melt backline like that because you have a lot of uh, a lot of burst and a lot of like magic pen with it. And that's the whole purpose of the item. It's not that good versus frontline at all, but it's really good versus backline. I'm gonna die here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop it. I'm just dead here. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Just not worth it at all. Oh, hello. Ooh, brutal. That's okay. That's okay. Our right, team's gonna get mid tier two. Very good. Not bad, not bad. Sorry, I was just trying to trying to a Discord message. Um, yeah, like I was saying, computer hardware. It's not the most important thing in the world, but it it does help. We're gonna go, we're gonna go into Zonia's here and then buy Giant's Belt. For the HP, and that helps them when dive in the back line just to be a bit tankier, stack up your conquer, and then the electric damage. Uh, computer hardware is not the most important thing in the world, but it, it does help if you're like dedicated to the game, right? Because then I don't have to I don't have to basically move my um, my left hand off of my abilities to use items. I can just use my mouse, 
which is awesome. Rebind, rebound my trinket to G as well, because I find the trinket being on my number slots confuses my brain a little bit. Because I always associate number slot with item and then trinket with like a separate sort of like section as sort of the way it's laid out on the thing. So we're gonna limit test a little bit here. See if we can go for the kill. I should I should speak a bit more about um. Oh. Then back off a little bit here. I think I can I think I can kill these guys. We're gonna limit test here a little bit. Okay, backing off a bit. Oh god. Uh, I messed up. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, no problem. You guys are gonna. That's gonna happen. I I do advocate for limit testing within reason. Um, just make sure that you recognize when you're going a little bit too hard and you don't throw the game completely. That's okay. We got double shut down because we died earlier, but that's fine. Or no, did I die earlier? Is that, is that my first shutdown? I did die earlier. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sorry, my thoughts are a little bit disheveled right now, but back on track back on track if you if you think that better computer hardware um in terms of your inputs are better for you if that will help you then go for it not necessary um so why am i building zonyas there is because i need again i need to be able to dive the backline and survive a little bit longer we're gonna realize next to lock down the backline when we're in there a load of hp uh rocket belt will help you stack up your conqueror as well which is super good because extra conqueror stack ignite gives you a conqueror stack as well so bear that in mind when you are going for um, all ins and stuff, as you get conqueror stack from those. And generally, you're going to start with um, Q fling and then or Q fling auto to get three stacks out of six. Then ignite belt is five, and then one more auto gives you six. Or just combat time gives you six. Okay, let's fight a little bit here. Can I fight this? I think I can. Okay, can't kill uh, Nunu sadly. We're going to go back up Jinx here. Okay, decent. Don't think we can end the game, but I can go for this dragon for sure. That is A-OK. -okay. okay, very good. We're going to grab that blue buff on the way out too. It's about to spawn. Again, with Poor Professor, you can see the jungle timers, so... Riot approved! And if everyone else is using it, then... You need to be able to keep up, right? So, that's the reality of it. And I just enjoy the, uh, enjoy the champ select features a lot, so... Okay, we're gonna recall here, because we're not anything to buy. We can look for a Blasting Wand, because we need Blasting Wand to, uh... Build towards Relies, and Potion is not the most valuable item in their inventory right now. Like, you like to have it, and you hate to sell it on Sin because you just don't really have super super sustain options if you don't have Rift Maker. But I think at this point, selling it for 45 AP is definitely oh or 40 AP is definitely worth it. Oh, she might be in trouble. Oh God. Well, that's brutal. They're really overextended, but they're gonna do that. Remember, when you're playing in gold, they're gonna your teammates are gonna overextend a bit. That is the reality of it. Okay, what we're doing for right now is we're going to look for just opportunities to make picks and then maybe look for Baron. My team is throwing a bit, which is a little rough, but... Can maybe walk over there and salvage it a little bit. We'll see. They know I'm coming. They're, they're fully aware. Oh, gosh, she hurts a little bit. Well, it's better than playing versus a Critical Strike AD carry because a Critical Strike AD carry is a little bit more lethal late game than lethality when you have armor versus it. I guess she can still go Lord Doms though, which could be an issue. She, wait, can you go Lord Doms and Cerildas? I don't know if you can do both. I hear you. Can you? No. Gonna grab this cannon here. Hopefully not miss. There we go. Then I do have Rylize now, so we're gonna go back and buy that. Okay, their inhibitors are coming back up after respected. They have been farming a bit, which is which can be a bit of a negative of um taking inhibitors too early. Especially in like lower you look games where your teammates are just not super keen on how to end the game. Digging in hibs can be a little bit rough early, but right now we are mostly okay. Okay, watching up for the Jinx here. She's gonna get engaged on by Nunu probably. Just making sure that they don't overextend. Look for the top wave here. I'm gonna have a little bit more faith in my in my AD carrying support. Hopefully they don't run it down because we we do see them. 
you know, oh, oh, scary. Gotta respect the cat a little bit here. They look, they're looking at me here. I gotta, I gotta be careful. Okay. Try our best to escape. Oh my god, that, that is my bad. Okay, again, it is okay to make some mistakes. It's gonna happen. The enemy teams are definitely a bit more competent at this rating, and that's fine. But Akali is getting, she is getting value for this, which is good. She is, she is split pushing. He's getting towers, and then, oh, I did, whoa, what is that healing on him? Is that Aatrox? What is that Swain, man? Is that Daddy Aatrox? Oh, God, okay. Okay, okay, no worries. I'm serious. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna unmute my chat just for this instant to tell my team I'm serious now. We're gonna, we're gonna be done with limit testing here. Okay, I'm serious now, no prob. We look for Baron, and then we, we look to end the game. That is okay. We are also gonna uh, sell boots here, like I said we are going to, and we're gonna look for a Merc Treads as soon as we have enough money for him. I'm a little bit off, I'm like 75 gold shy. When I have the chance, I will sell for Merc Treads because Swain hurts a lot. Could go Tabby here as well, but they just like, with, with it being Lethality, Sivir, and, and Aatrox, they just don't auto attack that much, so Tabby is less value. We'll swap to a Blind Trinket as well, whenever I have the chance, and we're gonna, we're gonna play a bit more serious now. We're gonna look to end this. I am serious now. <laughs> Again, limit testing is fine. Just make sure that you, you reel back a bit when you know what your limit is. For the purpose of education, I will show you guys a more realistic approach to the game. I could definitely just totally, I'm not trying to be that guy, but I could totally stomp these guys if I wanted to, but for the purpose of education, I'm showing you guys a more, a more realistic scenario. Like when you're playing, you know, this is what you're gonna get. Yeah, it's it, and, and learning to overcome that is is part of uh, part of growing as a player. Nunu's bottom, we can just look Baron here, man. Nunu's, I don't know what he's doing, he's inting here, but we can just look for this. And if they walk up, we can turn the fight and just go absolutely berserk. But assuming we kill Baron, which we should, we have Jinx on it with uh, Kraken. Just melts. We're gonna walk back and go for, uh, they know we're here because Swain, but we're gonna walk back and look towards Dragon as we get this. Very nice, level 16 ult, very strong now. I am a bit poked, but not that big of a deal, honestly. Akali is on Nunu. He walked into me, so I guess he just dies here. Very nice. We can look Dragon here. It should be soul for us. Ooh, Swain. Zanya's here. Belt out. Ignite the cat. She dies. You still die, you're not getting out. See ya, fling him, double. Oh my god. Ooh, so good, so clean. And I know that that fight looks really hard to accomplish from your perspective, but trust me, when you put about 200 games of Singed in, less than that, 100. Less than that, 50 games. You're gonna be able to do that too. You will. The champion is not mechanically very intense. He has a very high ceiling, but a low floor. He has a lot of variance in, in, in Singed win rates, you know? You see some guys who are Singed mains have like a 40% win rate. You see some guys who are Singed mains have like a 70% win rate, right? It just, that's how it goes. All right, decent, 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 decent. Very good. You're gonna be playing against a, a little bit of a stronger opponent selection in gold, just like that, bear in mind. But once you get a big lead like that, that's how you convert it into a win. I did do a little bit of throwing, but you know, for educational purposes, I think it's fine. I think that's a okay, and we will we will take that one. So what was my damage dealt? Highest damage thirty thousand five hundred again. Um, yeah, that's how you abuse gold players, and and you climb on a gold. And I will move on to the next one. So thanks for watching that one, guys. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we are back here for the platinum version. This account is platinum four, I believe. Um, and we're against the Kale top lane. I'm going Conquer here again. You can go Predator here, um, if you if you prefer. But we're gonna we're gonna try and abuse the um, the mechanics of the Platinum Kale a bit. Our jungler is actually pathing away from us, so this is a little bit unfortunate for the Kale matchup. But I am going TP Ghost, and we can we're gonna try and fight her a bit. Um, especially once we're level six. The whole idea of playing versus like this is around the Eel, you're gonna start playing versus a lot more counter matchups like the Kale, right? People will be picking Kale, they'll be picking Darius, they'll be picking a lot of Nar as well into you. You'll see a lot more Teemo as well. People will be playing a lot more for lane King for lane kingdom against you because they've also been climbing to this point and they also know that hey, I climb by being lane dominant and Singe probably did too, but he's playing Singe and I can play a champion that's good against him in lane. So you'll be playing against more of these types of champions. I should talk a bit about your, your bands and champion selectors. I think I brought it up a little bit earlier, but uh, your bands will be changing around this time. So 
around um, silver, silver gold, I recommend that you you ban Nasus because people play Nasus at that rating, and it's basically impossible for Sin to deal with it. Um, even higher yellows, you just can't deal with it. Even with Ignite, even with Conqueror, you can't beat Nasus. It's not possible. In lane, he skills for free. Um, so I recommend that you switch a bit, uh, switch, switch your bands up from Nasus once you hit Platinum. Switch to like maybe Darius or even Camille or Fiora, depending on what you don't want to play against the most. I banned Darius this game. I think Darius is very common in this rating, but then you can also um, ban Kimula or Fiora, and then as you climb up, you're going to be banning those three champions mostly. You'll notice I'm letting the Kale push towards me, because we're going to actually look to be aggro whenever she uh, oversteps for the next wave. If I'm pushing into the Kale, she gets to farm for free, so we're going to try and put her into a bit of a dicey position here. Uh, my jungler is unfortunately pathing away from me. You want your jungler to path towards you, but it's it's good for the purpose of education that he's pathing away from me, so it, gets, it gives me the chance to show you guys what to do whenever they are pathing away. But basically... We're going to try and freeze the wave here, and then once we have um, an optimal opportunity, we're going to look to trade with the Kale. So right here, we're making sure that these two minions don't walk up. If you can block them with your body, that's good. And we're just going to leave the wave here as long as possible when she walks up for, I think, the next minion. I think we go. We're going to poison the minions on the way into the trade and hopefully get four off of that. I think she knows, too. Okay, there's a Q. We go in. Okay, back off a little bit there, no problem. She does have PTA, so she does have a strong trade, but we also have a strong trade to conquer. The reason why we're going in after she wastes her Q is so that we can um, avoid the damage reduction, or sorry, the armor reduction that she does, armor and MR, and just deny a little bit of her of her trading tool. She missed Q again, so we're going to trade a little bit aggressively here again. You'll notice they also started boots. You can start boots versus a ranged champion like this. She's not fully ranged yet, but she is mostly ranged, because like for the purpose of Sin, she's basically ranged. You can start boots against range, you can have a little bit of movement speed advantage, and then just be able to make those picks and make those flings and trades happen. But you have to be very, very careful with your mana bar. You're going to be playing against much more competent lane opponents in Platinum. So you cannot just be as blind aggro as you as you want. Um, Ignite, also not super recommended for, for this elo. Like, you can totally go it. And if you're against a, uh, a raw melee champion, you probably should go Ignite. When you're playing versus a counter matchup, uh, TP is much more beneficial because it just gives you like later game pressure, gives you map pressure, it gives you the ability to reset into your lane, etc., etc. We're going to be rushing different items this game as well. We're not going to be going C-Pot, we're going to be rushing damage because we need to kill that kill whenever she walks up to our tower. We're going we're gonna to be going for all ends, we're going to be going for fights. She's not pushing the wave fast enough, I think. It should give me a soft freeze, and we're just going to leave the wave right there. We're going to be CSing on her tower. If she oversteps for this next wave, we maybe go for the fight. Actually, yeah, we're going to look to flank her here because she's like half HP. We just look for the all-in because I have Blasting One by here. I'm just going to go for it straight up. I have Boot. She does not. She missed her Q. Got the Goofling. She dies here. And we got her Flash. Very good. There you go. That's how you do it. She overstayed for the wave. Bear in mind, you're playing versus much more competent laners in Platinum, but they also make mistakes. She overstayed for that for sure. It's like Chogat's overdiving, he's gonna die for that. Yeah, he's so dead for that. Nice. Yeah, they will make mistakes for sure. She TVs back to lane, but we're abusing the blasting one spike there. After bouncing the wave off of our tower. Nice, there you go. You'll notice that I also use my champion target only button. I have it on Tilda when my mouse cursor is, is highlighted in red like that. That's when I can I can not click on minions or towers, only on champions. So I use that whenever I'm fighting, so I make sure I don't miss fling or anything like that. And then when you're farming waves, you can turn it off. So you don't misclick a cannon or something, but yeah, something to bear in mind. Something to be, something that's useful whenever you're playing um, a bit more mechanically intensive. Something to think about. So, what does Kill have? Look at her item. She has tier two boots. She has berserkers. Their team comp is really, really magic damage heavy, and I'm assuming Kill is going to go AP as well. We don't know for sure. So in terms of boots, we're probably going to look for um, probably going to look for Mercs, but I don't know for sure if she's going AD or AP. I can actually check, I think, with Poor Professor uh, what her minor runes are. So she actually has PTA, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Overlook, Conditioning, Attack Speed, AD, AP, or MR. So we actually can't tell from that. But I'm assuming it's AP. We'll see. In terms of items, we're going to be rushing a Rylize. And the reason why I'm rushing Rylize is so I, whenever I catch Kill, she gets locked down. I just run her down to Conqueror and Poison. Remember, her flash is down too, so if I, can, if I need to force a freeze, I can. I'm actually going to show you guys how to force a freeze here. We're going to tank these minions, tank these three uh, these three range, and just walk them all the way back down here like this. Walk them down, walk them down, walk them down, and walk in the bush to reset aggro, and this wave will push towards us. And it just make, it just makes sure the wave is going to keep pushing towards us and puts her in a hard position to, to play the, the counter matchup. 
Tap poison on the minion if you can't stand there and auto attack it, and then just walk away. So now she she's panic pushing because she knows what I'm trying to do, but my next wave is already going to be here. It's going to have a, uh, another freeze, and I can all in her on that next wave. That's what we're going to do. I'm just going to wait for her to use Q, and then we're going to go in after she uses it. If she doesn't use it, then she doesn't uh, get to farm perfectly. We can also just try and bait it. Okay, there's Q. Wait for the debuff. The debuff is gone. Miss W, no problem. We'll back off a bit. Hey, cut her out a bit here because she has a PTA on us. Go back in whenever her PTA wears off. Nice, there we go. I wanted to give Mordecai the assist, but she's also trying to play around my uh, play around her health bar for her ultimate. But if I have full stat conquer, we can just burst her there, and she might not even expect it. Honestly, if she even ulted, it would have been a waste because Mordecai were just she could, he could just ult her during her ultimate and take her away, so she had no chance to kill me there. Look for tower plates here versus Kale. Um, if it was uh, if it was a different range champion, like if it was honestly, you, you you probably should go Predator versus Kale. But this is a great example of how you can play Conqueror into her too, because uh, when they're when they're in Platinum, you can just abuse the lane mechanics like this and get away with Conqueror. But generally, versus range champions, you should be looking for the Predator setups. And I have a ton of videos about the Predator setups if you if you need it, but. You're not going to play against range champions quite as much these days, I don't think. You might have some unlucky, excuse me, occurrences where you have to play versus one, but that's okay. We have a few options here. I'm actually going to be a little bit conservative here and go for the C pot just for mana as we start to farm hard farm waves. Looking at the bottom, if I can TP, I cannot. Kale, uh, we're going to put her in a bad position. We're going to TP to tower because I can't TP bot yet. We're going to just we're gonna just grab the grab the whole wave and just try and force a force a freeze. Just a blatant freeze. I'm going to actually DPS the melees down again. Just two of the melees if I can. Hopefully that third one doesn't die. We're just going to, again, run the wave down and force lane freeze. Again, we are playing for lane kingdom a bit here. I will proxy more later on. If I was against a a champion where I couldn't abuse them in lane, I would look for the uh, look for the proxy. But right here, how to play versus a counter matchup? Very important to ship off. Okay, ult is up here in four. When the wave again pushes up towards a tower, we're gonna go for the uh, all in. What we're doing is we're building a bigger range wave, so the a range backline, so the minion wave pushes towards us because the range minions deal more damage. Then we just keep her in an awkward position as long as we can. Pop potion. Wait for your poison to dissipate before you walk the minions back there. Then when she walks up, we're just gonna go for her with ghosts and everything. Make sure you're last hitting, of course. Oh, I'm missing a few minions. It's okay. Okay, Q is down. She walks up for the cannon. We're gonna go on her. As soon as she goes for cannon, we're gonna go. She will go for it. Okay, we're going. Hey, kite her out a bit when she gets PTA. Go back in. Spread poison during her ultimate. And she goes down. Very nice. You can beat the counter matchups, guys. It is possible. Make them suffer. Okay, we're going to look for more plates here. Playing for dominance. Playing for aggression. You can kill without ignite. You don't need it, but... It does help, but you don't need it. Because the thing is, uh, this late in the game is, or, or sorry, this this high on the ladder, especially when you're playing versus a champion like Kale, when you are playing Ignite, you just don't have the opportunity to to match her late game the way that you need to, because she just like ends up beating you one v one late in the game, even if you have um, Ignite, and that just ends up ends up not being worth it, right? Harass her a little bit here, no problem. I don't think she can kill me. She has flash, but we're gonna just W her and walk away. She might flash flash Emi here actually. Ah, rip. Little bit of a little bit of overstep. That's okay. That's okay, no problem. So she is gonna go AP, so we'll go ahead and buy Merc Treads here because we know what she's buying. Again, limit testing. Don't don't feed kill too many times, but that's okay. Alright, Rylize is done. We can go uh, one or two items here, demonic or belt. I'm gonna go uh demonic here. Demonic because they have double frontline. They have tank Shivana and then uh, Cho'Gath's holding tanky as well. So we're gonna go for that. Mordekaiser should just melt this guy. Honestly, I think he does. Bop. There it is. Love to see it. Okay, and then whenever ults up, we're gonna look to the to kill Kale again. 
She's gonna be a little bit more aggressive now that she has a as a sh as a shutdown, but I'm still really far ahead of her, so it should be fine. Should be fine. On my what? Way. Okay, looking good. If she recalled, we're gonna push the wave and bounce it off of her tower. I'm assuming she did recall because she has 600 gold off of killing me and then another hundred off the wave. Then because she has no flash, we're going to look for her behind tower. We probably can't kill her because she has ult back up, but we can be a bit aggressive here. Oh, no, she didn't recall. She's still here. Okay, we're going to back off. Minion, she got that point. We're going to walk this way so, to make her think that I'm walking over here, but we're going to uh, try and flank her with the lane bush here if I can. I might not be able to. Make it in. Yeah, I might not be able to here. Oh? If she uses Q, I'm gonna hit, try to hit my W and then go on her. That's the big cool thing I wait for is the Q. She's being really careful. She knows I can kill her, but it's okay. She'll mess up. It's gonna probably Q the cannon. We'll see. Okay, hit the W. Get poison on. Get slow. I think I just one v one her in the in through her PTA right now. You conquer a stack. Whenever she ults, you just walk with her to keep poison on her. You run her down. Very good. There you go. I hope my Mordekaiser are here. She has ult. I doubt that he uh, he kills her, but oh. Okay, we're gonna try and put W down wherever her her uh, her shadow is. I think it's gonna be here. I messed up a bit. It's okay. Pulling him away from Mordekaiser. Just get him on the Rylai slow. And he goes down. Love to see it. And he drops. I could farm that wave, but it's already going to push towards me. I can tell because her next wave is going to get there sooner, and she's teeping for the wave anyway, so. Be back here. We build towards Demonic. You could totally, by the way, go Belt second here, but I'm, I don't recommend it unless they have no, t no front line, right? But they do have front line here, so I'm going to go Demonic second and help melt the front line. Yeah, again, in terms of in terms of runes, guys, you can go predator. You should go predator versus range generally, but this is fine. Because you can you can definitely still, if you're playing the lane like perfectly like this, you can get leads versus uh counter range champions. So mostly okay. She's level eleven now, so I have to respect it a bit more. But I'm still far enough ahead of her where I should be able to beat her. We will see. She went mid, okay. If they if they lane swap, by the way, we just run down Cho'Gath too. He is he is free money for us right now as well. Oh, that's rough. That's not so good. He is disrespecting. I don't think you beat me here, bud. Nope, he's trying to get me low for his ultimate, but it's not good enough. Just not good enough, Cho'Gath. I'm too far ahead. I'm two levels up on you, dude. Love to see it. Oh, the cannon. Nice. Hopefully grab this top tower here. I think we can, yeah. Lulu is here, but Lulu can't kill me by herself. She can, though. Time to run. Oh, my. I have Rallies, though. I, I doubt they're going to kill me. Yeah, no way. No way. I'm going to be a bit disrespectful here. We're gonna, we're gonna walk it up. Mordekaiser's over there. He might meet her in the bush, but I'm gonna look for top tower here. Lulu is still here. She can't. We can just kill this, honestly. What is she doing? What are you doing, you fool? Goodbye. Put this tower. We have we have one minion worth of auto attacks here. Nice. There's tower. I'm going back here. Mordekaiser might be able to do Herald too. That enemy team is pretty low. We'll see, maybe. It is up to the great jungle mind to choose. Now we have um, Demonic, we're gonna go Belt, and then Belt helps us be relevant in terms of damage versus kill. She's pushing versus Vlad, because I don't think she thinks Vlad can kill her, but I can definitely walk down there and kill her. Oh yeah, if he dies to her, it's super unfortunate. You gotta stop that, bro, you gotta stop that. Stop that. <laughs> That's very not good. But again, when you're playing in this rating, people are just gonna mess up and feed the kill when they shouldn't be, so. We will deal with it. They're on drag. I can actually walk over there and mess shit up because I have ultimate and ghost. Oh, I can I can go crazy here.
Triumph Rock, Fling, Triumph Rock, Triumph Rock. There we go. And we live through a baby. Very nice. Almost died, but... Once I have Rocket Belt, Tristana will get melted very quickly. Then when you have your ultimate, you can just run all the way down. There's three people dead. Cho'Gath's top and their other living member is a Lulu, so we just run all the way down the lane very aggressively. Push everything super fast. Gives us a faster recall. We're going to push the next wave, too. Now we just deny scale a bit of minions as well, which is awesome. Denial of resources is sometimes uh, just as good, if not better, than getting ahead. Go back and kill these. Demonic will keep them in combat. It'll stop them from despawning, even though they reset. Drop a word there, because Kale will look to... Uh, Trist is here now. Kale's going to keep trying to match uh, Vlad, I think. And we have to make sure that we're aware of that, because she knows she has a hard time 1v1ing me. She might kill me, but doubt it. And she wants the Vlad, because she's getting she's getting kills off of the Vlad. I do have teleport, though, if she tries to all-in him again. Yeah, she's, she keeps going for Vlad. I'm going to ping him back, because he's going to lose that 1v1. He is not respectful of her at all. Mm -hmm. okay, team's doing Herald. This is the type of game where you want to try and end early because they do have a kill, but even if we don't, not the biggest deal in the world. We do want to try and end early. Let's Herald mid. We should just do it right now, I think. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to ping it for Mordekaiser. We need to get ahead. Chris is bottoming. We should just Herald this. We should just Herald this. Harold, we go a bit, we go a bit ham here, and that's okay. I say we keep going. As long as the charges, we're good. We back off a little bit if we need to. Getting, they're getting chunky a bit by the uh, demonic. Oh, hi there. Wait, what? That ward looked like a champion in the silhouette. Oh wait, they're being they're being really dumb here. We can just go forward here. Playing Cho'Gath in. Did he ult me there? I couldn't tell. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Very nice. We'll rip the Morty Kaiser, but that's okay. Blood was top anyways. We can just keep pushing for this mid tower if we can if we can get it. They see me here. I might have to back off a bit. We get top tier too, hopefully. I want to go for the tower here. It's a dragon in two minutes as well. We got a circuit in those, so Kel doesn't have them. We'll grab the tower. We probably definitely can't go inhibitor, but tower is really important if we can get it. Zoning the Trist here. I want to just back off. Oh, wait, that's a mistake. That's a misclick. That's okay. We don't need to take that yet. Okay, mistakes happen. That's fine. Should just back off. I did mess up, and that is okay. On my way. <laughs> that was a genuine mistake. I, I wasn't just doing that. Genuine mistake. Feel that from Lucian. I'm the carry here. Sorry, buddy. When you're when you're carrying, it's okay to do that. You know, dragon a minute and a half. Ooh, I need to build towards rocket belt still. Um, it's not worth it to sell the potion to get um amp tomes. We're gonna keep the potion instead. I'm gonna look for that blue buff too if I can get it. Get my little my little greedy hands on it. I actually already have one, but I'm going to farm anyways. More about the EXP. No, it's Vlad, it's me. Time. Not you. I try and steal it from him. No, I wanted it. Rip. Okay, got that as well. Okay, level 15. Very good. They have a they have a ward, a pink ward over there, and Shivana's over to the right, so we're gonna run around a bit here and just look for a pick. I have ghost steps, so I can go pretty crazy. Oh hey, she's overextended. We go for this, we go for this. She's really overextended. She's messing up here. She's just doomed, very good. My Vlad got caught, as is tradition, apparently. Lulu got caught. I just run the rest of these guys down, man. What are you gonna do? She ulted me. Okay, triumph proc, and then just run Trogath down. We can Baron off that as well. We should probably get Dragon first, though. Very nice. We'll get Dragon, then Baron. We might, might not have time to do both, but getting Dragon stops them from snowballing it, so.
which is good. Okay, yeah, I can't do Baron yet. I just don't think Lucian's strong enough. I don't like think Lucian's too useless AD carry. Because, like, they never go Kraken Slayer and they just fall off the cliff in terms of damage unless they're mechanically absolutely perfect. I'm not the biggest fan. All right, in terms of next item, we're going to go Anathemas. Anathemas goes on the Kale. Anathemas will reduce her damage against us as you go into late game. And then once she starts split pushing at 16, Anathemas helps to make it so that you don't just die to her on the 1v1, which is awesome. Very useful. We're a full item ahead of her, which is also very, very good. We need that. I hope I'm a full item ahead of 10 kills. <laughs> All right, let's go. Right now, we're going to look to just pressure bot a little bit and then rotate up to the team. Nami is going to maybe get caught here, so you got to be really careful. I saw the Cho'Gath and Lulu walking up, so I'm pinging it for her because they're just not going to pay as much attention as I am to uh, the state of the map. We're going to look to push this and then just rotate towards our team. We don't want to over push for towers here. Over pushing for towers is bad. Sinner takes towers way too slowly. But Kale being down here is good because it gives me a chance to rotate. Get a flank on Cho'Gath here. On my way. Then we can look to kill him. Heal him off. Nice. Look for, look for Baron here off of that. Unfortunately, we have Vlad's inting again, but we can maybe look to fight. Okay, that's a really good ult. Bear in mind, guys, um, Rocket Belt does apply Rally Slow. Nice, looking good. We go Baron here for sure. Lulu is still alive, but she's not going to steal Baron. We have Smite, I believe, right? Yeah, we do. Easy money. Easy money on the Baron here. So we'll do Baron and then run it down mid. That's probably the best, call, the best case scenario. In a situation like this, by the way, if you're Nami, it's better to just chase the Lulu and not even kill her. Because it just, it just keeps her in a bad spot. And she doesn't get a chance to reset and just recall or even die and then get back with her team. You just keep her there. It's a very, very uh, high level play to do that, but very valuable. Okay, she's, she's sacrificing to tower, which is good. Oh no, she's trying to live, which is really dumb. She should just die there because she's just wasting way too much time. We're going to sell potion here for um, Kindle Gem because Kindle Gem is super, super value. You hate losing the potion again, but you love having Kindle Gem. The CDR is quite nice. Ultimate cooldown is 80 seconds, by the way. Very good. Okay, I have Teleport up. Nice. Ragafeld Snipe. So the team's doing well. We're going to do we're gonna do a 1... Uh, sorry, a 1-4, where we have four people pushing mid and one person pushing bottom, and I'm the one person. This is a level 12 Shivana. If she walks up to me, she's going to die. She's going to die. She might still die, actually. Nah, she's a little fast, but that's okay. Okay, team shoving inhibitor, then we just rotate towards bottom. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Going for Nexus there is really greedy. I'm trying to force her to ult here. He does a lot of damage. Okay, they killed. They actually killed two, so we just go for Nexus then. Normally, you'd go for the second to, uh, second inhibitor. But if they got the kills like that, then it's fine. Ooh, that's spooky. I can't really go for the tower here. Yeah, again. Nice, there we go. Drop the wards. Get some vision score here at the end. Alright, and that's how you dominate a lane counter, guys. Very good. Let's see our... Uh, Damage stats. I had 7.5 CS per minute there. About 500 gold per minute again. Very good stuff. Alright, what was my damage stat? And if anything, I'd have a much higher crowd control stat, but I didn't like pay attention to that, so. I honestly normally don't. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, they are very upset with the kill. <laughs> 1317, and then my damage was again the oh, second highest right behind Vlad. His inting paid off for the damage chart. Yeah, sometimes that can be a little bit of a misleading stack because if you're just running into the enemy team and giving up kills for free, even though you're doing damage, it's like, is your damage worth it? Think about it. But very good. At the end of the day, what matters is you get the LP. So, all right, for the uh, diamond game, we're going to be playing a Predator setup because when you're getting a higher elo on Singe, Predator does completely outshine Conqueror because everyone's mechanics are just way better. So stay tuned for that, and then we'll move on. So thanks for watching, guys.
All right, guys, we are back for the Diamond Dealer gameplay of how to climb to Diamond with Singed. Here, when you're getting the higher ratings, again, you're going to be changing your bands up. I banned Camille this game. You want to ban Camille, Fiora, or Darius, the most common, the most frustrating champions you play against in higher elo. I am playing Predator now because Conqueror, when you're playing versus more mechanically competent opponents, just doesn't cut it. They don't they don't die to Conqueror the same way they do in lower elo, so we're going Predator. Predator also much better versus ranged champions, and Predator is just going to do a lot of action. It's going to create a lot of gameplay for you. In higher ratings so runes are predator taste of blood eyeball ultimate hunter second wind unflinching this will basically never change our miners are um double ap and armor or you can go mr or health depending on the matchup riven uh is gonna have conquer and ignite a lot of top laners especially rivens will go will go um ignite and conquer against you and you'll be very defensive early on in these matchups as far as items starting go we're going to be going boots start to have your keystone online as soon as possible. We are playing very defensive right here. So we're trying to not use much mana. We're trying to not use um, or spend as much health either in in taking poor trades and stuff like that. And you want to be very careful. Uh, I should probably turn colorblind mode on for you guys. I actually, that real quick so you guys can have that just in case. But yeah, starting items are going to be generally boots. You can, if you are going to be laning for a longer period of time versus a slightly easier matchup, like if you're playing, if you're playing Conqueror versus a tank champion or like a much like lower damage bruiser than Riven, then you can go C Pot or you can go Dark Seal as well uh, and have some AP instead and be a little more greedy. But the boot start versus a much higher damage, much more higher mobility champion is much more useful. So we actually have Vi coming in for a gank here. This where Predator kind of shines. We're gonna look for the fling on Riven. She's gonna try to re-engage re on us. We're gonna ghost here and then here comes Vi ward for her. Alright, Predator here. We're gonna go for another fling. Got her. Get some Vi auto attacks. We don't kill her, unfortunately, but we did put a lot of damage out on her, so that is a okay. Bear in mind, we're a little bit low on mana, so we're actually gonna um, just clear this and then look to probably recall and reset with teleport. When you're playing with TP, you actually don't um, need to buy C pot super early because you can recall for mana and then reset especially when the enemy top laner does not have um not have teleport it helps quite a bit so the wave is going to meet right there we're gonna go ahead and tp out she knows that we're recalling she's gonna look to try and uh, push the wave but hopefully it uh oh well she messed up her back for that so that's okay we can still recall if she tries to stop us then she takes tower shots and that's fine we're gonna tp back into the into the stacked up wave okay very good by C-Plot here and just look for the recall as soon as possible. We can hopefully force a freeze on her here. Yeah, we should be able to. We're going to do it very obnoxiously, obnoxiously too. We're just going to keep her right there. And that way, it just gives us a bit of EXP lead as she comes back in the lane. It gives us a lower, lower percentage chance of her leveling up and killing us with level advantage. Okay, very nice. Hop one potion charger. It's like a, we didn't heal to complete full HP during the recall there, but yeah, you can already tell we're playing versus much more mechanically skilled opponents here in Diamond, and it's gonna it's gonna be that way. And you have to be ready for it when you hit your Diamond promos. Like when you hit Diamond promos, guys, you gotta be ready for this type of stuff. You have to be much more careful in your laning. You're not gonna be able to really proxy super safely until six. Um, if you if you do get to proxy, it's gonna be because the enemy laner messed up or because you got a good push off when when you um, got a good trade or something like that. But generally, you're not really able to proxy super early the way you would in lower elos, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm just keeping the wave there. I'm gonna look for a fling when she walks up, when she oversteps. We're gonna try and get her into our tower range. There's tower shot, very good. The wave is still somewhat frozen. We're going to dump all of our potion charges here because she's going to look to all on us with Ignite, but I do have a level advantage, which is good. Uh, her stun is down, so we just look for a fling whenever we have it. She's not going to walk up unless she has uh, unless she has stun. There's her stun down. She missed it, so we're going to look for another trade here. Third Q comes in. She's backing off. Just playing very mechanically here, playing on the wave, on the freeze. Backing up a bit. She has kill pressure here with Ignite. Okay, got the W. She actually dies here, I think. See ya! And that's how you play around the Riven in lane with Predator. There you go. You force the freeze, you force the bad recall, and then you just look for the you look for the tower flings. And because she doesn't have TP, she's very punished here. She loses a lot of minions to tower here for dying to me there. Careful the last hit. Then we're gonna go ahead and back here. I could greed for another wave, but it's early in the game and death timer is pretty low, so it's not worth it. I'll get caught behind tower and probably die, but that is okay. 
So in terms of first item, we're going to go Rhylize Rush versus Riven. The reason why is even though she does get Gore Drinker and stack a bit of HP, she is so mobile that the 30% slow from Rhylize, one, keeps you safe whenever she gets uh, scaled up for the side lane. Because Riven does outscale you in a 1v1, you outscale her in a team fight. Remember, Singed is one of the best, if not the best, team fight scalers in the game. 1v1, you can have trouble, but in terms of 5v5, you're a god. And then um, Rhylize just keeps you a bit safe for when she gets scaled up, for whenever her Ignite cooldown is up, and then you get to have um, pretty much a free scaling towards Demonic. We have a level advantage here. I can go for, I can go for aggro plays here. Hide her out with... Um, with Q with Q Ghost because she does have Ignite. Respect it a bit here. Yeah, she she ignited me because she wanted to go for the kill, but I'm just so far ahead in levels. I'm two levels up on her now, and then she walks up and dies to me. I think even if Vi didn't come, I probably win that fight because we have level advantage. If she's level six with Ignite though, you really have to respect it. Her kill pressure can be quite high, but we are doing absolutely phenomenal right now in this diamond game. Okay, teams have, she's getting her bottom side invaded, but my Vi, my Vi is taking his top side. I think she loses blue buff for it, but that is okay. Um, I can go for this this plate here because she just respawned, and then I have a cannon minion to do a bit more bit more DPS to tower. Got to respect it though, because if she hits six off of the XP, we will die. Okay, get the goofling. Actually, missed the goofling. That's okay. We're just gonna fling her away because she has no ignite and no six. I'm good to do that. She has six now. She might look for me. She's gonna look for me here. Fling her back in. Hopefully Vi finishes. Nope, that's okay. We'll just leave. That is okay. We don't need to overgreed for that. But just making her lose XP and minions is still really good. Oh, Vi. Do you get it, buddy? Do you get it? Her shield is down. I'm gonna go for this. He wants me here. I die for it, but that's okay. I might not. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, rip. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. I want her to not hit those minions if possible. Oh, no, 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 don't hit the minions, please don't hit the minions, don't hit the minions. If you die, it's fine, just don't hit my minion wave. Okay, whatever, yeah. I think she dies for it, but it's okay, as long as the minion wave doesn't die, it still pushes towards me. Yeah, that was just a very greedy play that I shouldn't have gone for, but it's okay, you're gonna make mistakes. And even then, it wasn't, like, that bad, because we did kill her, but yeah, it's okay. That's okay, we'll get there. Then we're very close to Rallies. Within two minion waves, we'll have it. Rallies is a pretty cheap item, 2.6k. It doesn't give you that much damage, but... Oh, please don't troll me here. Please, no. Please, no. Please don't, dude. <laughs> God. <laughs> Classic diamond game, by the way. Please don't. I'm just gonna beg, please don't. For her to not walk up to top lane and troll me like this, but she's totally going to, because she's frustrated with her lane. Please don't, dude. Because if she dies to Riven, it's game over. We're gonna be a little bit aggressive here because we're gonna push in a tower and look for look to get a proxy wave going. Once I have Rallies, even Rex has, such, has trouble killing me. Okay, back off a bit here. Okay, Rex size bottom. We'll proxy one wave and then go around, uh, or sorry, recall and then look for. Actually, we're gonna roam a bit here. She's dead really fast. It's okay. We can either roam or proxy here. Uh, roaming with Predator is also possible because you just look for the engage. Oh. That is unfortunate. I think I might kill Rexai for it though. Nice, let's go. I got hit by the charm, so I die there, but I do have TP to go back to top lane. It is A-OK. -okay. Happens. Wait, Ari is uh doing a little bit of griefing here. But my Ash is doing a bit of griefing here. Okay. Nice, you got triple though. We have Rylai's now. We're gonna look for a uh, pretty quick tabby as well because Rexai physical, Riven physical, Caitlyn's dead as well, so Tabby is the boots play here. No problem. Move that death recap, by the way, if you can. It's a little annoying to have in the middle of your screen. Uh, this is a good this is a good setting to change as well. Is um move camera on revive. Keep that off so you just don't waste time panning to your character. You should be buying while you're dead anyways. And save time that way. Riven will try to kill me here because she knows I don't have ultimate. But I do have Rally, so hopefully we can bait her into a bad ult usage. Word for the Rex site here as well. She's still in that bush. She didn't recall. She's she's waiting for me to mess up and look for like she's waiting for me to fling a minion, basically. I doubt she recalled, yeah. Unless she thinks she needs an item spike, which she might have. We'll see. Yeah, there she is. See your XI. Run it back here. Uh, unfortunately, Rexi had um 
Prowler, Prowler's Claw, but they used Riven Ultimate and Rek'Sai Ultimate there earlier, and then I get two assists for the kill. Rylai's slowing Rek'Sai down just enough to get the kill. No problemo. Samira might go one, for the 1v2 here, actually. Nice, let's go. Ash took the kill, but that's okay. Okay, we grab Tabby for the uh, for the damage, and then we're going to build toward... I can actually go Dark Seal here, maybe. I have 350 gold. Might not be worth it, because it will delay my Demonic a bit, so... I think I'll just buy a Pink Ward, and then chill. Ooh, Victor, gotta be careful a bit, bud. Gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, Rylize is a very, very underrated first item. Like, if they don't have super strong frontline, which in this case they don't, Rylize is awesome because it just slows down the people who dive you. Ooh, she might be in trouble, though. Rek'Sai might have ult back up. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, she's very dead. Is that a shutdown for Rek'Sai? It is a small shutdown. What can you do about it, though? It's okay. Sometimes if you like that. So Riven does not have ultimate here. We can be a bit aggressive and look to unfreeze this. We can also just um, proxy the wave if we need to. But I think overall we are fine. I'm gonna look to fling her for this cannon minion if she goes for it. She didn't go for it, but I'm out of range of the fling. That's okay. We look to break freeze here. Then we'll probably walk in their jungle and look for Rek'Sai, or we'll look to roam down towards the drag, one of the two. Here's Riven. We're gonna try and walk up a bit. Word that in case Rek'Sai's here. She's looking to block the wave. Rek'Sai's coming. I see I see her, so we're going to back off a bit. Actually, I saw her on the map right there. Drop a, a pink word right there. Very good spot. Top R. I think I escape here. Oh, no. Prowler's Fly OP. Actually. It's nearly time. Ooh. I'm just a gamer. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> Love to see it. You got limit tested a bit. Rexay wants to burrow and then come on to me here. If I get to just escape, I think that's fine too. Oh shit. Ah, oh, rip, rip, rip. I, I knew the R was coming. I thought she'd walk from here, but she was recalled. But big play. Rylet lets you do some big plays. I predated her around the corner there, by the way, because um, it gives me movement speed towards the ribbon. She didn't expect me to turn the corner that fast. So you don't think that it's going to be very helpful in like these minor situations, but Predator can be quite helpful. Super good, so. We get Dragon off of that as well. Hopefully, Vi is a very fast Dragon Taker. Okay, very good. We're going to buy health here, by the way, because Rek'Sai keeps diving us really aggressively, so we're going to buy Ruby, uh, sorry, Giant Spell. And then we look for Demonic. Generally on Predator, you are always going to go um, Demonic Rallies or Rallies Demonic. In this case, Rallies Demonic. I think she gets out. Now she's super dead. Riven just didn't even go top here. Ooh, at least Caitlyn stole it, I guess. So whatever, because Riven, uh, did she flash Ignite? She did. I'm pretty sure. She might not have flashed, but definitely Ignited. I can maybe get Tower Plate for that as well, because Riven, I guess, is just pissed off. I, I think I tilted her. <laughs> hey, Diamond players will do this, man. They will, they will tilt and they will rage. Uh, no plating, it's 14, but that's okay. We can pressure tower pretty hard, and I don't think Rex like can solo kill me. I have a lot of HP. I have 2k HP. Okay, ping my TP so they know that I don't have it. That way they don't overextend. Ribbon got ulted there. She might just die to Ash, though. Keeping an eye on my map, because Rexai has an advantage of being able to go over most walls. So if you're not watching your screen closely while you're splitting like this, then you can get caught off a guard by Rexai. She's mid, so we're chilling. Ash is doing well. Love to see it. Diamond, by the way, is all about mental, guys. It's platinum as well. Platinum and diamond are all about mental. Like your mental will be will be tested in these elos. Like it is sometimes more stressful for me playing in platinum and diamond than it is playing. We're gonna deny the cannon here if I can let the tower kill. I might have done too much damage, but I want the cannon to die here so Riven doesn't get it. Nice. Platinum and Diamond will test your mental more than more than playing in Master Grand Master Challenger games sometimes, honestly. Rek'Sai, you do you just don't beat me here, I don't think. We can't kill Rek'Sai just yet, um, because because I don't have enough damage, but just the fact that it's hard for me to die is quite good. I can roam onto Ari here. I do have Predator. Hopefully W hits. It did hit, but I think she has charm. And Rek'Sai's coming towards me too. Not worth it to push or to chase that. Rek'Sai's just a bit dangerous right now. Even still, like, I probably won't die if, if I have ultimate running, but it's spooky, even then. I'm assuming I'm standing on a ward here. There's a lot of wave player. It's gonna be tough to push that. No problem. Yeah, Riven is super tilted. She's, this is, this is good, though. This is a good example, because your, your diamond games, I promise you, I promise you this type, this type of stuff will happen in your diamond games. This is 
so legitimately what happens in Diamond games. I, I know because I've climbed through Diamond many times on many, many different accounts. People just... Their, their mental is so strained. It's all about mental stability. All about keeping your, your mind strong. And trying to improve with every game you play is big as well. So here, we're gonna look to push because Riven went bottom, Riven died. I see two mid. I can't get there. Actually, I can get there. I have TP. Okay, we're gonna TP to the tower. We're gonna Predator in. Go for the... No oh, no. Get knocked up. There's the bubble. We can fight this. Bye. We can fight this. Okay, backwards for the, uh, the Rek'Sai here. There we go. Rylize is keeping her trapped. Put her in for this. Yoink! Very nice. Oh, she could have gotten out. I don't know why she did that. That's okay. Using your Predator intelligently is very important. Once it hits 14 minutes, you have the Empowered Teleport, which means that you get movement speed during your TP, so I saved it to chase down the Nami there. But if I was just running from the left side instead of teleporting, I would have popped Predator earlier. We almost have Demonic, so we're going to try and buy that before the Dragon Fight. Making sure I'm using my pings to communicate with my team. Not letting the state of the game stress me out at all because mental is so important. Riven is completely failing. This is why I'll climb. I'll always outclimb this Riven player if her mental is like this. Imagine playing one of the strongest scaling champs in the game and then doing this, you know? Like, Riven is a late game god champion. She should be mentally stable. If she's mentally stable, I'd be worried, but she's not, so. <laughs> Might lose mid tier one, that's okay. But we're gonna be grouping for this drag. I have ult in 13 seconds. Ultimate Hunter, very, very good with Predator because you're just playing, you're playing for your team, you're playing for your map, you're playing to be present in every fight possible. So Ultimate Hunter, great for that. I think Rex I dies to the, uh, the Vi here, or not, that's okay. We just look Dragon, I don't want Vi to die. Looks like she might. Nope, okay, good. Let's look for mid tier one then because uh, Ari and Nami walk down, then we'll look for a dragon afterwards. Look for mid tier one. Yeah, I think she might get out. Rip, okay. I can go to dragon. It's like at mid tower first. We'll go. Just give me a sec, guys. I'm coming. Okay, walking over. Samir is popping off a little bit. Samir dies, no problem. I'm walking down. They're gonna have a hard time dealing with me as well. Wait, Caitlyn just eat over the wall, I think. I got charmed. Oh, I think Nami dies though. No, rip. Uh, Ari is such a pain to play versus. It's okay. We're gonna do Rocket Belt third here just to have mobility to help kill them. Rocket Belt is super, super good versus their very annoying mobile squishy backline. Victor could go hard here with the laser. Not quite. Wait, you kill her. Victor. <laughs> We're gonna missing ping him, no problem. <laughs> He's a little upset. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No problem. Uh, we're gonna look to farm up our, our belt. But yeah, no ghost there is a little bit brutal, and if I played it a bit more perfectly, we could have killed probably Nami and maybe even Caitlyn too, but that's okay, they're really fed, so. Yeah, they're quite fed. That is how it goes sometimes, my friends. The whole objective is showing you how to climb, and that is part of learning, is knowing your limits, knowing what you can do, knowing what you should have done better, what you could have could have improved on, right? Right here, what I'm looking for, I'm looking to push this wave and then looking to group with my team. I don't have ult for 15. I don't want to group until my ult is just about to come up or if it's already up. Because you're super squishy without it. Very, so, like, you're absolute paper without your ultimate on Singe. Even with your ult or paper sometimes, but that's okay. Another option for item here, by the way, would be um, Zhonya's. Just to, like, defend myself against Rek'Sai when he walks, or she walks into me. Ooh, I might kill her too. Does she have Triumph Proc? She does. Oh, but the dent, the burn. Oh, Ash! Ah! That's okay, no problem. Don't worry about it. Oh, she has Banshees. <laughs> That's okay. Do they get her? They do get Kaelin, but they won't one point her. That's okay. No, don't FF. My teammate's mental is collapsing, but mine is not. Yeah, they got really greedy for me. They did kill me, but I got the one for one. Because my team is having some issues. But we will get there. Victor ran bottom and died. He is sort of doing that. 
It's okay. Again, climbing and diving, guys, it's all about dealing with the mental collapse of yourself, your teammates, and your enemies. It is always going to happen. We switched to Farsight here as well. You, sh you can do it at level 9, but sometimes I wait a few levels if I don't need to be super aggressive. Um, Rex, I might rotate over from bottom, so we're going to go ahead and ward that for Samira here. Oh, it's a big stun. Did we get it? She ran in, but Nami's right behind. Nice, let's go. Well played. Super good stun. We can maybe look Baron. Yeah, I agree. I do have teleport. Teleporting as soon as I see your Exi here. Okay, we just go Baron. I think we just go Baron. We go Baron. We go Baron. Because they got zoned off, so we go straight straight to Baron. With Nami being low. If Rexi comes, we can turn and look for a fight, but Baron is definitely the call here. Yeah, they ran as soon as I popped the TP, which is super good. We see Riven up there. I think we just focus this. Hopping Predator, just so I have movement speed in case someone walks close. We see Caitlyn over here as well. But they're not super close. I don't think Rek'Sai is here either. We would have seen. Very nice. Good Baron take. We just reset. We just reset. Yeah, I do recommend keeping your chat muted, but sometimes you have to be the, the 1v9 shot caller. Carry master, which is what we're going to be this game. We'll clear. I should clear top, but Dragon's up in a minute and a half. And if I run all the way top, it's going to take me a while to get back towards the team. So I'm going to go clear bottom and then just be near Dragon. Ghost is down here. Um, no, actually, I'll, I'll have Ghost up. I'll have Ghost up the next fight. So always keep an, keep an eye on your Ghost cooldown for team fights based on timers around objectives. Ideally, your teammates should not be inting for objectives, but they might. You never know, right? It is League of Legends. Hey, we're not we're not going to overpush here because we just saw three people walk towards the bottom of the river. So we're not going to overpush. If we overpush, we might we might die. I get punish for it. Predator is down as well, so I'm not super strong right now for the fight. I think we just save for um we just save for the drag. We don't want to fight right now. If we can avoid it because the predator is down too, and so is Ghost. Nice. Fling Rex right here. Hopefully she dies. I mean, Riven's in my team, but she's gonna die here. If she does. Okay. Predator is up. Running at Caitlyn here. W. Bad, bad, uh, what do you call it? Bubble by the Nami. Head to Caitlyn, and she's dead. Dragon 40. I'm gonna go recall real quick. With Singe again, my sustain options are a bit limited, so we need, we need to recall sometimes, so we can run back to drag relatively quickly here, which is good. Unfortunately, uh, Rek'Sai is gonna be up before Dragon spawns, but if we're just on it on spawn, we should be able to burst it. Command your teammates like a flock of sheep. You have to be the shot caller. Not every game, but most games you do. Okay, Rek'Sai just spawned. We should have the ability to just burst this before she gets here. And Vi is here as well because she died first, so that's good. W the RA just in case she's looking for um, ultimate over the wall. We're good. We're going to look for some some sort of income to get uh, our rocket belt. F29. If I can take this, that would be lit, my friend. If not, it's fine. I don't mind her if he wants it. I don't want I don't want Victor side. Like he keeps he keeps dying down here, so we're just gonna cut him off before he goes down here. Hopefully he takes the hint and goes to a different lane. But Rexai is farming Victor for kills. Oh. Rexai is farming me for kills. Actually, my bad. That is the play they've been making all game. And he has all. He can kill the Ari here. Ah, oh, he just hesitated too much. I got her with a demonic burn though. Very good. An ash arrow on the on the Rex side. Okay. Yeah. So next item is definitely gonna be Rocket. Or sorry, um, Zonya's after Rocket Belt because the Rex side. That's the one play he's making. Like identifying the patterns that your enemy play, your enemy t uh, players are doing to abuse your teammates is really important. The play that Rex side has made over and over this game is to go bottom and try and catch Victor. So I was there before Victor. I did die. But bear in mind, that's pretty okay here because we got value. We got a lot of value off of it. Rexai being dead and we have Baron still. Or no, we don't. Baron's out, but that's okay. Rocket Belt and 8 gold. After Belt, we go Zonya's and Zonya's keeps me safe if I get charmed or if a Rexai jumps on me, which she definitely will. She's been doing that. Again, your keybinds for your items. Always make sure that they're on the right keybind after you buy them so you don't mess up and then push the wrong button and then not have your item. Very important. He can probably chain slow her with his Q and E. Then Ash can chain slow her as well. I'm gonna W right there. She's gonna go over the wall. Oh. She might get burned here. Nice, let's go. Let's go. 
I think we'd look to push mid. Can I have that? No? Okay, that's fine. We should look to push mid here. Victor is side laning still. He's being uh, very, very tilted, Tony. Which is not good. Oh, almost got her Banshees. It's been awesome. There's a Rek'Sai to our left. I just saw her. She got his Banshees, though. Or her Banshees. Sorry, I'm just like... Misgendering. Dropping the ward, catching them out. Go the vision. We know where they are now. My team should know as well. Bursting Rek'Sai here. Playing this slow. Oh, I walked into Charm again, man. That Ari is just getting me every time. It's okay. We'll have stopwatch soon. I need to really wait the Charm out. That's why I have to play these fights. I have to really, really, really wait for Charm because the Charm is killing me every time. But that's okay. We'll get there. Hey, Victor got top tower. He's gonna die to Riven, maybe. Ah, he procced his phase rush. <laughs> he walked in melee range. You can't do it, bro. You can't do it. Okay. We look for stopwatch here. That is the play. I have TP as well, so I'm gonna look for the, the uh, bottom lane, side lane pressure. Because Victor, what Victor's gonna do, I know what he's doing, he's gonna spawn and just run top lane and start trying to wave clear. That's no point out. But Baron's not up yet, so they can't go for it yet. We can go defend mid on spawn, actually, if we need to. We'll try and focus Ari in the next fight as well, because Ari is a big problem. I'm actually gonna sell potion. Again, I don't recommend doing this every game, because you need to sustain, but I'm gonna sell potion and have it for, um, the next fight, because I'm gonna get charmed probably. Their Ari's playing very well. I wasn't gonna clear bottom, I'm gonna clear top instead because it's unsafe for Samir to walk here. <laughs> Grab that. They're taking your camps, but that's fine. The Riven has farmed so much off of killing the Victor, so she's a little bit far ahead, but. or a little bit ahead of me. Now that's later in the game, but that's fine. We can still be relevant. She's waiting for me to check the bush, and I'm not going to. Go on that. Her whole team's there. <laughs> I don't know why you're missing pinging me, dude. His whole his whole team is there. The fact that he thinks I should have gone on that shows that I'm a better player than him. Because there's no way I go on that. Like everyone's there, you know. Like with like these guys, yeah. I didn't fling the Ari. But I got out. Stopwatch by was good. Ulted victor. He doesn't have it. That's okay. Stopwatch by was good. Then we can't actually um, Baron yet because uh, Rek'Sai is still alive, but we can look Dragon, hopefully. I'm going to recall. I have um, FTP for it, so should be a clean drag, hopefully. We will, we will teleport down for it, by the way. TP on this as well. Dropping wards for the drag. We should just have it. We pull it out. Okay, we're not pulling it. That's fine. We're just gonna go for it. Actually, it's not fine. You should you should never do this. Always pull it out, especially versus champions like that. All their their entire team that can damage it over the wall. But it's okay. I'm gonna ping back. I have ult in 13, so not yet. But we don't want to fight yet. We really don't want to fight yet. I need Zonya's if possible before we fight. Might not happen because this game is getting very hectic, but I have to play the next fight very slow. Because the Riven, or sorry, the uh, Ari is just a real big pain. We're trying to ward the sides for Rek'Sai as well, so here I'm going to look for top. Make sure to danger ping because it's very likely they're going to go into our jungle like this and look for a gank from the side. Top Predator here. Got the Nami. Back off a bit. I think she dies to poison. Yes, very good. I think Rek'Sai might die. Nice, very good. They can go Baron here. They can go Baron here. Wait, Ash has ult again? Does she have Axiom Arc? What? She does. Okay, I was like, what in the heck is even that? Okay, normally I would ask for them to wait to, to kill it for 35 seconds, but that's too long. Because Riven's gonna be pushing bot lane. Because that would just give me the Baron as well, but it's not worth it here. So, we're getting very close to Zhonya's, which is super good. If I had Zhonya's that fight, I'd just live. But it's okay. Game be like that sometimes. We can look for Dragon Soul here as well. We'll be, we'll be good to go. Singed is kind of okay versus Death Stance, because you give anti-healing in case they get a killer assist. But Death Stance, regardless, is a very dangerous item to play versus. Especially on Riven. Dude, it's so good on Riven, man. She would have died there. 
if not for death stance plus shield god that champ is she's 5 and 12 and she's that tanky it's so crazy oh man good old ribbon okay i need this for zanyas i'm gonna ping it to just so Vi knows we're gonna get we're gonna grab this and recall because having zanyas is priority number one right now over anything else in the game for me we kill the camp grab the zanyas he needs to back he's over pushing here rexai knows it here rexai is probably right there grab the zanyas we're gonna go buy it keeps us a little bit safer if i need to as well i can switch to merc treads but i'm probably not going to because caitlin and rexai and ribbon are threats but i think word for the siege we look for mid here i have ghost in 15 so we're gonna we're gonna look pretty hard for a fight good poke on his shield I need her to not recall here. That's kind of bad that she's doing that, but that's okay. Okay, good poke on the shield. We, we put a pink ward a little bit like further up in the lane just to cancel their vision if they haven't. Eat that to the team. Probably don't have to stand. I probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Where are we recalling? I don't understand. We need to go here. We have Baron. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, Victor. Gotta protect him here a bit. I'm watching the side as well. I see Vi. Okay, we missed Arrow, no problem. We should just wait and uh, slow siege this with Baron. Okay, we're getting poked down, so team wants to recall. That's fine. We just reset. If Victor leaves, I have to leave too. He's a little bit far. Yeah, he's dead. There we go. Why is she not backing, though? Get her. Got her. And Ribbon is anti-healed the entire time. Even though she got a bunch of uh, death stance procs, she gets anti-healed, and we just power through the fight. I waited for the... Uh, the When I saw the Ari Zanyas... I won't say I waited, because I didn't actually wait, but... Um, when I saw the Ari Zanyas, I popped W on it, and then that way she can't just flash out whenever um, she comes out of Zanyas. It's like a mini Caitlyn trap, basically, during Zanyas. Same reason why Caitlyn is so good against Zanyas, because you just have a free trap. If someone in Zanyas versus Singe, you just have a free W. We have no way we can end the game. We don't have minions or anything like that. There's no way. That is a trap. We have Dragon in 40 as well. We should just go for that. Okay, next item again. You guessed it. Anathemas. Anathemas on whoever the most fed enemy team 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 member is. Almost a teammate, but that wouldn't be a teammate. On whoever the most fed enemy team member is, we're going to go for anathemas on them. Or whoever's hurt, just hurting us the most or doing the most damage. This game, I have double armor items, so I probably put it on Ari. Ari is a great candidate for anathemas here. And reduce, just reduces her damage by a lot. Flat health is awesome versus, versus um, cooldown oriented magic damage because you just get... To pre their damage is more predictable and less, and less um, what do you call it, consistent. It's more inconsistent, so you get... A lot of benefit from the HP bar because you can dive in and out of the fight and kind of play around the cooldowns a bit more. Because Dragon Soul, we are absurdly tanking now, by the way, with Ocean Dragon versus that team comp. If I had Anathemas completed, we'd be we'd be almost unkillable, but that's fine. Rek'Sai is just kind of uh, sitting here, trolling a bit. Wait, my fling went on cooldown, but didn't pull her. Interesting. Okay, we'll back out. W on Riven. They walk through poison. They're getting poked a lot. Okay, yeah. My, my team just lives for a very long time with um, Ocean Soul. I think we might lose the fight still because my uh, team inted a bit, but that's okay. That's okay. We're fine. That is completely okay. We didn't FF that. We'll play it out. I just have a little bit more gold until Anathemas. Um, looks like Caitlyn focused me the most. So I could put it on her as well. That's okay. I don't even see who got caught. I don't know. <laughs> They don't end, they get inhibitor, but they don't end. No problem. Yeah, we can Anathemus Caitlyn, just have damage reduction versus her. Ah, it was Samira. Yeah, that makes sense. She's been playing like that a bit. Again, mental, guys, mental. It's all about the mental. Your mental will get tested in these games. Just make sure that you don't you don't fall prey to the mental the mental gap. That's very, very, very important, guys. 
But Anathema's on Caitlyn. We can look for a Baron here. We have Ocean Soul. Like, in, in a proper team fight where my DPS doesn't get one shot, we should be completely... Oh, hey, Herzanius is down. Ari right, no, Zanya, look Baron. Look Baron, boys. We're gonna look for um, Anathema's on Caitlyn when she shows up on the map, too. Because she's focusing me pretty hard, it will be nice to have um, damage reduction on her. Where are you, Caitlyn? I don't see her. There she is. Oh, nice. It's really good that they got Riven. We can look for Baron here. And if they come in to fight, we just turn the fight. I'm actually going to zone the Rek'Sai here. Looks like she's not coming in, so we'll just do this. And we look top, probably. Don't go mid. We just come top. Okay, they're gonna go mid, unfortunately, but that's okay. We're gonna go top. We're gonna make the right play. He needs to really not be up there because he's gonna die. I'm pinging it. I'm pinging it for him. <laughs> Please listen to me. Checking that bush before my AD carry walks up. Then we're gonna five man top slowly. I do have ghost, I have everything up. Only thing I don't have is um elixir of iron, but that's fine. Good arrow. Ari is grounded there. She's actually so screwed with that W. Huge W game winning W almost. Oh, you messed up, Caitlyn. Oh, you messed up bad. Sandy sold the ulti there. I just run Riven down. She never gets away from me here. She never kills me either, is the thing. Now she has to run away. Yep, GG. Mental, guys. Mental. Keep your mental strong. So I'm getting way too hyped for this tutorial video. <laughs> It just, it stresses your mental so much, this elo. It really, really does. And you have to be ready for it. My Nathama's blocked uh, 250 there, which is not the greatest, but hey. Damage reduction on Caitlyn's still very good. And you can you can switch the Anathemas around, by the way, depending on who you need more damage reduction against, so bear that in mind. All right, what do we get here? What did we get here? I'm going to honor, um, wait, honor, to honor Ash. I'll play honor Ash. She recovered and got some pretty poggers plays there. All right, let's see what my damage was that game. 32.3, actually I had higher than Ribbon, which is really, really good. And we are gaming, so hey, hope you guys enjoyed that How to Climb a Diamond video. I'm going to probably um, put some more information in the intro that I probably that I missed in the actual videos themselves because there's a lot of information I know. But I do appreciate you guys watching and um, I will see you in the next one. And if you have any feedback on this, please let me know. But this is a great, I think, type of um, informative content that you guys can that you guys can have on just how to climb because people ask me all the time, Minish Cap, how do you climb? How do you climb? How do you do it? So it is it is very important, I think, to just be able to see someone doing it if you're like a visual learner and then you have the ability to just kind of mirror and learn. That's that's kind of that's the type of learner that I am anyways. Like I learn a lot by by visually learning and just seeing someone doing it and then and then experimenting and doing it myself. Um, I never learned that well by just like reading and stuff like that. I, I, I hate reading to learn. I don't, I don't like it that much, but, but doing something right. And then actually like mirroring it or watching someone do it, I think is a lot better. So love to see it. Hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.